featuring the UCLA Bruins. Brought to you by the Southern California Chevrolet dealers. Come in and test drive the Chevy of your dreams. Then drive home with a deal of a lifetime. Only at your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. By Great Western's family of companies with over $30 billion in assets. 100 years strong, we'll always be there. By Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. By La Pat's Blue, Canada's number one selling beer. It's Blue Heaven. And by your local Volkswagen dealer, where you can experience German engineering the Volkswagen way. Live from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, Prime Ticket presents College Football 88. Tonight, the UCLA Bruins host the Cal State Long Beach 49ers. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden. On the surface, it would appear that UCLA will be able to name its own score. After all, the Bruins are 2-0, ranked number two in the nation, and they're coming off that big emotional victory over Nebraska. Long Beach on the other side of the coin, 0-2. The 49ers have scored just one touchdown in two games, and let's face it, Long Beach is struggling. Our partner on the telecast, Jack Snow, the former star wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. Jack, will this be the mismatch that many are predicting it to be? Well, let's look at it this way. It's a no-win situation for the Bruins. They are expected to go out tonight and have their way with Cal State Long Beach. It's a win-win situation for the 49ers. No matter what they do, it's going to be something that people expect them not to be able to do. I think it's going to be an interesting game. One thing about UCLA this year, the balance on offense. You've heard all about the great passing exploits of Troy Aikman, but what about the running of the two tailbacks, the senior Eric Ball and the freshman Sean Wills? Eric Ball having a great first two games of his senior season. He's big, he's strong, fast, runs inside with power, and he can turn the corner with great speed. The key for Ball is to stay healthy, something he has had problems with throughout his career here at UCLA. Sean Wills, on the other hand, number 37, a true freshman, not expected to see much action this early in the season. He has responded brilliantly. Not a big guy, 180 pounds, but very durable and definitely has a knack for the end zone. And this is a big play UCLA team. And personifying the big play, the punt returning ability of Daryl Henley. Daryl Henley, senior cornerback deluxe, punt returner supreme. Five punt returns for a 40.2 average and two touchdowns. Biggest asset, quick starting, gets to the wall in a hurry, and then he just turns on the burners. Well, if Long Beach is going to do anything tonight, they're going to have to have a good game from their senior quarterback, Jeff Graham, from Costa Mesa. Yeah, Jeff Graham, a good, strong kid. He's 6'4", 200 pounds, throws the ball with good velocity, has not had the start that the coaches had hoped he would. Very slow start at times, but let me tell you, he's on the verge of becoming the 49ers all-time leader in a multitude of categories. The question tonight is, can he keep the Bruins or keep the 49ers close? Yeah, because Graham had a miserable game up at Oregon last week. He was three out of 13, only 14 yards passing. So he wants to bounce back with a big one tonight against UCLA. Well, the Long Beach coach is Larry Reisbig. He's now in his second year as the head coach at Cal State Long Beach. And how does Coach Reisbig feel about playing UCLA? The thing that we want to do is we just want to improve as a football team. I think we do that, of course, the emotion of the game and so forth. We'll get caught up in the game and maybe get that big play and get it exciting and, and uh, have a lot of fun against UCLA. I think it's a good experience for our football team to play UCLA at the Rose Bowl, the number two team in the nation. It's exciting. It's something that all these kids have dreamed about. And really, that's about the only approach that Larry Rice Big can take. Absolutely. Have a good time and hope you get a big play. And I know that Terry Donahue is concerned. Will his Bruins be focused in on Long Beach tonight after that emotional victory over Nebraska? It's been a tough week for the UCLA coaches. There's no question of it. A big win last week, a team that should be tonight, and a bye next week. Very difficult week. So we're just moments away from the opening kickoff, UCLA and Cal State Long Beach from the Rose Bowl. Glad to have you with us here on the Prime Ticket Television Network. The lights taking effect here at the Rose Bowl prior to the start of this one between the Cal State Long Beach and UCLA. And there is Terry Donahue. He got that coveted 100th victory last Saturday over Nebraska. And Larry Reisbig on the other side of the field. Reisbig is the 47-year-old head coach at Cal State Long Beach in his second year. 
pleasant night here in Pasadena. What a contrast to what we had here two weeks ago in the oppressive heat in the season's opener against San Diego State. Kurt Maggio will kick off for UCLA. And deep for the 49ers of Long Beach, a defensive back, Stan Davis, and a wide receiver, Mark Say. Long Beach 0-2, losses to Boise State 29-10. Shot out at Oregon up in Eugene last week 49-0. Mazio's kick will carry down to Davis at the 3. Stan, Stan Davis, Davis to the, the 15, and he swarmed under at the 16-yard line. Davis, a return of 13, Anthony and the tackle is made by Anthony Burkett. And Jeff Graham will be at the controls of this Long Beach offense, coming off that poor, poor game at Oregon a week ago. But the great competitor that he is, you know that Graham will bounce back and give it his best shot tonight against the Bruins. Graham has passed for 29 career touchdowns and 5,566 yards in his three years as a starter for Long Beach. A quick throw over here into the flats to the tailback, Brian Browning. And that may be and set the tone for the Long Beach 49ers, the quick release and try to pick up four yards, five yards here and there. Browning and right in the backfield along with Graham, his receivers, Derek Washington, Mark Say, and Jeff Bielman. Bielman being the tight end. McKinnon, Adams, Jink, Smith, and Harrell up front. Harrell is a big tackle, 315 pounds. Second and nine, just a one-yard pickup for Long Beach. And the ball is at the 18. Graham rolling to his left, throwing and hitting his man, Mark Say. Say the flanker back, making the grab a 20-yard gain, and Long Beach has a first down. The tackle made by Eric Turner. You look at the defense of UCLA, Mike Lodish, Jim Waller, and Brian Wilcox. The linebackers, Marcus Patton, he's filling in for the injured Eric Smith, Craig Davis, Chance Johnson, and Carnell Lake. And in the secondary, Daryl Henley, Marcus Turner, Matt Darby, and Eric Turner. First and 10 for the beach. The ball is at the 49er, 38-yard line. Beelman in motion. Graham throwing across the middle. Was the pat caught or was it trapped? Mark Say picked it up on the first hop. So it was not ruled a completion to Mark Say, the sophomore from San Bernardino. Daryl Henley on pass coverage for UCLA. Long Beach over the last couple of years, especially as you look at Jeff's, look at those statistics, 22-51, 206 yards, three interceptions, and no touchdowns. The beach under the direction of Reisbeek has gone to a more balanced attack, and it's unusual to see them come out and throw three, four, five times in succession as they have done so far in this first quarter. Weren't able to generate much offense at all last week at Oregon, just 108 total yards. The give is to Brian Browning. Browning trying to find some running room to the right side is stopped around the 39. So that'll be a pickup of just one yard, making the tackle Craig Davis, who, by the way, will celebrate a birthday in the middle of October, turning 21 years of age. Craig Davis, a junior from Tucson, Arizona. Long Beach comes out over the ball, third down and eight. The ball is at the 39 of the 49ers. We're in the first minute and a half of play here in the first quarter. Brian Wiss is the new tight end now for Long Beach. Hard pressure coming in from the outside, and the tackle is made by UCLA's Racine Keaton. I'll tell you, just a little blitz. There he is, 49, Marcus Patton. He comes in from the outside and does a heck of a job. We'll get a chance to see him coming in from the left side. Graham's dropping back. All of a sudden, now he spots him. Now he's trying to protect himself. Oop, there's Patton there on the right and Keaton there on the left. Excellent job by the two outside linebackers. There's Patton, the 6'1", 214-pound junior. Here is the punt by Long Beach's Willie Lujan and the fair catch signal for by Daryl Henley at the 22. 48-yard punt by Willie Lujan of Cal State Long Beach. And there you're looking at the senior quarterback for UCLA out of Henrietta, Oklahoma, Troy Aikman. Well, we got a penalty on that punt. There's the referee, James Fogeltance. He is a school principal down in Tucson, Arizona. A mixed split crew here tonight. Four from the Pac-10 conference and three from the Big West. Big West, of course, Cal State Long Beach, a member of that group, formerly known as the PCAA, the Pacific Coast Athletic Association. First of July, changed the name of the conference to the Big West. 
you get a chance to see the eyes of Aikman standing on the sideline. He's ready to roll. He's ready to jump in there with some good camera shots there. Aikman it's said that he was having a difficult time getting focused this week after the hullabaloo and the buildup and 84,000 plus. On the defense, refuse, first and ten. So it'll be interesting to see how Troy Aikman fares tonight against Long Beach. Well, he's a competitor. There's no question of that. He's got great skills, great ability. He's a tremendous leader. You look at his stats, and that'll, that tells a tale in itself. 27 of 40 for just under 400 yards, six touchdowns, and only one interception. So he'll come out tonight with probably a balanced we'll attack on part of the Bruins and see if they can generate good yards. runs and some good ball control passing. This is only the 15th game in a UCLA uniform for Troy Aikman. Already he has thrown 23 touchdown passes. So the Bruins with the first and 10 from their own 22. Pitch goes to Eric Ball. Eric Ball. And Ball gets across the 25, close to the 26, slammed down by Dan Duffy. Daniel Duffy He's a junior defensive end out of Pacoima. Ball and Estwick are the running backs for Troy Aikman, Reggie Moore, Mike Farr, and Charlie Arbuckle, the receivers. Bobby Menafield, Rick Meyer, Frank Cornish, Lance Zito, and Bill Page up front. And this has been a good offensive line for UCLA. Not as big as the Bruin offensive line a year ago, but a little quicker, and they get off with the ball with uh, a more quick start than the, the team of a year ago. Aikman throwing Troy Aikman. and completing it to Mike Farr, and Farr is flipped down hard at the 40-yard line. He was upended right at the 40. Stacy Alexander making the hit. 14 yards on the pass play. Look at the Long Beach defense, Duffy, Van Buren, and Hensley. The linebackers, Phil Morrison, Tom Keynes. Keynes is the leading tackler for the beach. And Davis, Washington Coors, and Tourville in the secondary. UCLA with the first and 10 from the Bruin 40-yard line. No score. We've played almost three minutes of this first period. Here comes Eric Ball. Ball slams ahead to about the 47, put down by Philip Morrison out of Sunny Mead, California. Morrison is a three-year starter and a senior outside linebacker for Long Beach. San Diego State, 17 carries, 122 yards. Nebraska, 35 carries for 148. 270 yards in two ball games. Again, a big, strong runner outside. He's got the speed to get outside, and he's very tough inside, tackle to tackle. And what makes Eric Ball go quite often is the blocking of fullback Mark Estwick. Aikman throwing on the run, and he completes it to Mike Farr. It's the second reception for Farr here in the early going. This one good for 12 yards, first down UCLA. And the Bruins now have moved the ball to the Cal State Long Beach 41. Aikman looked like he had all kinds of room just to take off and run on that last one, Mike, but he did a smart thing. He found far, as you look at him right there, number nine, running a square out. Ten catches for 128 yards so far this season. Running the score out, took advantage of it, got the ball into his hands. Nice catch by far. And Aikman is two out of two so far. No score. The give is to Estwick, the fullback. Look at the big guy go. The walk-on moving down inside the Long Beach 30. A 12-yard gallop by Mark Estwick. Tackle by outside linebacker Pat Quigley at the 29 of Long Beach. Watch Estwick now. He'll take that ball, get in there behind his offensive center, Frank Cornish and Rick Meyer, the left guard. Now he's just a, a runaway truck in there. Tried to be brought down, but just an excellent job. He's big, he's fast. Pat quickly had a shot, just couldn't bring him down. UCLA doing a lot of things offensively, running outside with the toss and back up inside with the fullback. Good blocking by Lance Zeno and Rick Meyer, the guards for UCLA. First and 10 at the 29 of Long Beach. Aikman fires quickly and completes this one. A slant in pass play to Reggie Moore. And Moore is down to the 16. 14 more yards for Troy Aikman, who has been letter perfect. Basic execution, a short drop back, one, two, three, set, stop, throw right in behind the linebacker. There's your receiver coming up inside. Moore makes a nice job, catches the ball as he goes away from the defensive back. Big play, nice execution on the part of the Bruins. Tackle was made by Mauricio Gutierrez, an inside linebacker for Long Beach. First and 10 at the 16 of the 49ers. Aikman has it batted down. I believe it was batted down by... Daniel Chuck Reed. The ball down the yeah, Reed got in there. Big number 99. 99 plays the defensive end position for the 49ers. Let's watch him. He's coming in on a stunt. See if he gets a hand up. There it is. Gets that left hand up and knocks it down. I think that was I think that was 99 or 92. I'm not sure. I think it was 99. You're right. There he is. 6'3", 235 pounder out of El Monte. 
Second and ten for the Bruins at the 16 of Long Beach. Estwick moves up. The pitch goes to Eric Ball. Ball makes a nice Eric move Ball. inside and is thrown down. First man to make contact with him, linebacker Pat Quigley of Carmel, Indiana. He had two years of junior college ball at Little Saddleback Burks Junior and College. And you look at this Long Beach hours. roster, and it's dotted with junior college transfers. They're a young football team, Mike. And when you when I say young, I'm not mean. I don't mean in terms of age. I'm talking about service to the school or service to the team. A junior college transfer who can play as a junior, that's great, but he still has very little experience playing for his team, and these guys have got to gain this experience while they're learning and playing against such tough teams as UCLA. Keating in motion. Third and seven from the 13. The pass is complete. David Keating making the grab, and Keating has a first and goal for UCLA at the three or four yard line of Long Beach. Credit Aikman with 10 yards on the pass play to David Keating. Aikman rolling out again, taking the short man because he's open, not trying to force anything. Keating makes a good job of cradling the ball in before he gets banged around a little bit. Number two, Stacey Alexander's in there for the 49ers, but there's David Keating. Good hands, runs good, runs good, solid routes. Earlier in the week, Keating wasn't expected to play tonight, but he had a fast recovery, and Thursday he was pronounced to be okay. First and goal at the four of Long Beach. The give us to the fullback, uh, Estwick, and he slams down to the one. Estwick is quite a success story, a walk-on, didn't earn a scholarship until this summer. He's 5'10", 223, and a sophomore from La Pinata. In there primarily to block for the tailbacks for Eric Ball in this instance, but every now and then you got to keep those guys happy. you got to slide him to football, and he almost broke it into the end zone. He'll get his share of touchdowns this year. Now the ball is at the two of Long Beach. It's second and one. UCLA two yards away from a touchdown, one yard away from a first down. In motion goes Danny Thompson. A fake Aikman throws in the end zone. Touchdown to Danny Thompson. A nice fake. They sent ball into the middle, who carried out his part of the fake. And then Aikman rolled to his right and hit a wide open Danny Thompson, the senior from Huntington Beach. Danny Thompson comes in in a short yardage and goal line situations. He'll be the man in motion. He'll run a little flare into the back of the end zone. Forces the 49ers to choose. Go deep or come up and take the short man. And that's the defensive man who was put between the rock and a hard spot. He came up to take the short man. Danny Thompson wide open. A real thrill for the youngster from Huntington Beach. Trying to kick the extra point now will be Alfredo Velasco, and he will kick out of the hold of Kurt Maggio. It's up, and it is perfect. Velasco adds the extra point. So a solid, well-balanced attack for UCLA on the initial drive, and the Bruins now lead 7-0 over Cal State Long midway through the first period. The Oregon Ducks look very strong today. They went up to the Palouse and knocked off the Cougars of Washington State by that score in Pullman. And the Cougars just overwhelmed Illinois and Minnesota of the Big Ten just two weeks ago. As we, were talk weeks. As we were talking about earlier, the Big Ten having their problems playing outside the conference. The Pac-10 so far has been very, very successful against them. Washington State, a surprise. I mean, uh, Oregon is a good ball club. Tells just something about the strength of Oregon, too. Absolutely. UCLA 7 to nothing over Long Beach on the one-yard pass from Aikman to, Tom, uh, to Denny Thompson. Wes Denton is kicking off for UCLA, and Mark Say will make the return. He's got a pretty good hole. Mark Say at the 40, and finally pull down. Mark Say, a sophomore from San Bernardino, was just a half step away from going all the way, as it is a 42-yard return. I think Mark Say has been reading so much about Daryl Henley and his returning capabilities. He says, besides, and I'm going to get one for myself, he gets up into the wedge very nicely, gets some great blocking from his 49er teammates. He busts it back inside and just does get tripped up. Otherwise, he's still running across that goal line for a TD. So the beach in business now with a first down at the 42. Bill Moving back and forth, Graham has yep, time. Graham Incomplete. He was throwing to Byron Browning out of Hammond the backfield. Browning. Browning is the number one receiver for Long Beach. He Second has caught 10, ten averaging yard six line. yards per catch. As you look at the senior from Costa Mesa, Jeff Graham. Graham really zipped that ball to Browning also. Looked like Browning wasn't quite sure 
or expected to be the primary receiver on that last play because that ball really got on top of him in a hurry. New running back for Long Beach, Andre Sutherland, replaces Phil Wright. So out of the eye formation, it'll be Sutherland and Brian Browning. The give is to Sutherland. Straight ahead, up close to the 50. Put down at the 49 of Long Beach. So Long Beach trying to get a balanced attack going, not going all the time with the forward pass by Jeff Graham, trying to establish a little ground game. Sutherland, the number one rusher for Cal State Long Beach. Could you look at his totals? Two games, 128 yards. Eric Ball had more than that last week against Nebraska. Third and four, the ball is at the 49. Here's the pitch to Sutherland. Ooh, as he hit off. Andre Sutherland. Billy Ray was in there. Billy Ray Some help from Mike the Lodish. They put the clamps on him. And Billy Ray, who broke play. his leg in the first ball game last year, 1987, did he play that well? He got across that line of scrimmage, line. took on the lead block of the fullback, destroyed him, and made the tackle. Good size youngster, too. 6'4", 239 pounder. Fourth and one on the Long Beach now. 49 yard line. Will they punt on third down? It's third and four. The ball is at the 49 of Long Beach. Yep, they're going to punt. Behind back to kick. Gets it away. Punting on third down. Daryl Henley. Gathering it in. Daryl Henley. 16 yard line. A 33 yard punt. That's reminiscent of Tommy Coltro. He used to punt on third down occasionally when he was the head coach at Oregon State, later with UCLA, later with the Los Angeles Rams. Isn't it amazing? We were talking about that earlier, about Coltro punting on third down as a professional coach, and here we see Reisbeck doing the same thing in third down here in the Rose Bowl. Amazing. There he is. There's the head man. What does he have to lose, Larry Reisbeck and also Long Beach? They're already down 7 to nothing. supposed to lose big anyway. Mix it up. Have a little fun. That's right. Go after it. Don't punt on third down. Go get it. First and 10. The ball is at the 17. Aikman on a quick throw out. Completes this one to David Keating. Keating, the junior receiver from Salinas, California, brought down by the strong safety, R.J. Coors. A quick screen to the wide receiver on that last play, and that's set up by having him take a step or two downfield. There's Keating, a heck of a baseball player also. The reason I think they're trying to use these little flare passes out of the backfield is to negate the eight-man rush of Long Beach. Well, they're just trying to use everything in their repertoire to see how it's going to work in competitions, what they're doing, Mike. Long Beach likes to gamble a lot on defense. Aikman completes another one. This one going to Mike Farr, his third reception here in the first quarter. This one good for 13 yards. The tackle made by Keith Jenkins. Farr will be coming from the left side of your screen, running a corner out, a little fake to the tailback. Aikman does a good job of setting up in the face of the defender, gets that ball out there to Farr. Great concentration for his, before he's smacked down by 27, Keith Jenkins. Brendan McCracken goes wide to the right side. Troy Aikman now with 24 touchdown passes on that short one-yard toss to Danny Thompson about four minutes ago. Six and a half minutes left in the first quarter. The pitch Eric Eric Ball. Who is he hit hard by Phil Morrison, the senior outside linebacker from Sunny Mead. Phil Morrison, all-conference in 1987 for Long Beach. Uh, his 6'1", 220-pound senior. His philosophy in this game is, hey, Lost I'm going to go out play the best game I can Second play. And whatever happens, happens. I've got nothing to lose. I get a chance to play against the big boys and the All-Americans and the number two team in the nation. I'm not worried about the score, Mike. I'm going to go out and do the best job I can. First time in three games that ball has been thrown for a loss. Second and 13 for UCLA. The ball at the 30. The UCLA 30. Bruins 7 to nothing. Aikman another quick toss. And this one is incomplete. Aikman's he was going pass. for Corwin Anthony, the tight end. For and Anthony. Pepper Jenkins may have had a finger in the way and just deflected the ball a bit. We have two Jenkins in here now for Long Beach. Pepper Jenkins, a sophomore from Bourbon Day, and Keith Jenkins out of Oakland, California. Keith is a defensive quarterback, and Pepper Jenkins a linebacker. Third and 13 for UCLA as Keating comes out wide to the left side. Mike Farr is in the slot to the left. Reggie Morris, wide right. And this time UCLA going out of the shotgun. Aikman, Reed is in hot pursuit. And Aikman takes the pass across the 40 to about the 42, going to Eric Ball out of the backfield. 
rare that Aikman throws to Eric Ball. Absolutely. It's, and we saw that last year, too, a lot with Gaston Green. It was several games before he caught a pass. Eric Ball. Going out of the shot. Got to remember now they're working on some things that they may not normally have worked on otherwise. Down. But this is an opportunity to try and work out, iron out some wrinkles. He rolls out. He, he feels some pressure. But he, nice job of shooting that ball in there before Stacy Alexander comes in there to put the clamps on him. A heck of a job by Aikman. Ball is placed down at the 42 of UCLA. It'll be fourth down and a yard to go. And, of course, the Bruins will go for it. They're leading 7 to nothing. But Terry Donahue wants a timeout. Carl Dorrell right behind him. Apparently, the Bruins didn't see Donahue. Troy Aikman carries on the quarterback sneak and picks up the first down with about a half yard to spare. Terry was signaling for the timeout on the sidelines. And on the tackle, Tom. Who's that unhappy look again? Watch the, the rush by the offensive line, just like a V, man. They just V in there and blow everybody out. Frank Cornish, Rick Meyer, and Lance Zeno, the, the center and two guards, doing a heck of a job in there. And all that Aikman's got to do is get in, in there behind him and just pick up the first down. UCLA has had this ball a lot here in the first period. He's to go and look at Eric Ball go. Eric Ball at the 10. Eric Ball, touchdown! 56 yards, Eric Ball. UCLA. Remember, Ball had one of 60-some-odd yards called back against Nebraska last week. This will be a good shot. Ball will take the direct handoff. Wants it bounce back to the outside. Again, remember the speed and quickness we talked about at the top of the telecast. He's strong inside, but once he gets outside, boy, he is a quarter horse. He is not a long-distance runner right now, but a quarter horse. He's got good stride, good quickness, and there's not going to be anybody who's going to bring him down, even though number two, Stacy Alexander, did have an angle on Eric Ball. Still couldn't bring him down. Bill Page to make the snap. Maggio to hold. Velasco kicks the extra point. But we have a penalty marker down. Let's check with the referee and see what this is about. If it's against Long Beach, it'll be assessed on the kickoff. Four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And the Bruins have scored through the air and on the ground. Offside against Long Beach. So it's 14 to nothing, UCLA. We still have four and a half minutes left in the first quarter as Donahue and Aikman confer on the sidelines. Eric Ball with his touchdown run. Nothing. Gleason scores. I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining because I'm free. Bear by Chevrolet. Now's the time to cash in on Chevy's big summer rebates. Up to $600 on selected cars. Up to $750 on selected trucks at your Southern California Chevrolet dealers. And by Stroh's and Stroh Light. Now you're talking good times and Stroh's is spoken here. I would have to say that the Bruins have been focused on this game so far. Yes, they have. They've uh, taken care of business, as they say. That's uh, attention to detail, blocking assignments, pass patterns have all been crisp. They've been run properly. The ball has been gotten to the receiver on time. The backs have been running with authority so far. So good for the Bruins. Maggio kicks off a line drive type kick and say, we'll watch it flip back into the end zone for the touchback. So Long Beach will put it in play with the first and 10 from the Long Beach 20. On that 56-yard run by Eric Ball, that capped a drive of seven plays, 83 yards. So, two times the Bruins have had the ball and some good sustained drives. And it's a 14 to nothing early UCLA lead. Mark Say is one receiver, wide to the right side. Tight end, Beelman. Also in the slot to the right. Now he's moving in motion. Graham across the middle to Beelman. Great tight end. Pass. And Beelman Quick picks up a first Beelman. down. Drop down at the 36-yard line. Marcus Turner, the right cornerback on the hit. 16 we, yards on the pass play. We got a flag on that last play, too. Let's watch Graham. Now he does a good job here. He wants to go outside. He can't, so he comes back into Beelman. See him pull the ball back down. Excellent job by Graham. Beelman continues running his route before he's smacked. Let's see if we can find a penalty. Maybe a spearing coming in from the backside by one of the UCLA Bruins. There's Beelman right there. Good, tough competitor. Not a big guy, only 210 pounds, but he's tough. 
Let's listen to the referee, Jim. Personal foul against the offense. Disregard the flag. The play was legal. All right. <laughs> Personal foul against the offense. Disregard the flag. The play was legal. I guess if you catch a pass, you can punch somebody after you. I don't know. I don't understand that call. I don't understand the explanation either. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at that total yard. Woo. 162 for UCLA, 38 for Long Beach. So we're back to first and 10 now for Long Beach on the 36. The pitch is to Andre Sutherland, and he gets away. Finally, he draws the crowd and is put down. Andre Sutherland was able to do an escape act there. Matt Darby was the first man to get in the backfield, but he was able to get out and kick out of the grasp of Darby and then pick up some yardage. He did a good job of running by Sutherland. He kept those knees pumping. He felt the first attack by the defender, and he just ran right through it. Excellent job by the youngster. Gain of seven, second and three, the ball at the 43. 14 to nothing, UCLA. Mike Walden and Jack Snow on the prime ticket television network from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. It's Sutherland Andre again, Sutherland. into the middle. And picks up maybe a yard. Mike Lodish on top of Sutherland there at the 44. To get a first down, Long Beach will have to advance beyond the 46. Mike Lodish and Andre Farr on the tackle. Still have over three minutes left in this first period. 14 to nothing UCLA. The Bruins have scored on a one-yard pass from Aikman to Danny Thompson, a 56-yard run by Eric Ball. Long Beach needing a yard to pick up the first down. Grant's going to throw on third down, and he overthrows his receiver. The pass too tall for Mark Say, the flanker back. Looked like he may have gone up there with that one hand and pulled that ball back in to get a great, great effort was given by the receiver, Mark Say, but the good coverage also by Daryl Henley. I Rams. talked with him yesterday as you look at him. Look at those eyes. <laughs> like eyes of sharks. Just Graham no emotion. Is three out of six for 36 yards, which is an improvement on what he did at Oregon when he was three out of 13 for only 14. Here is the really punt by Lujan. Lujan. And Darryl another Henley. fair catch signal for by Hindley. 43 yards on the punt. No return by Hindley. 2.44 left in the first period. The favorite Bruins leading. 14-0 over Cal State Long Beach. The word explosive has been used to describe this 1988 UCLA team, especially so in the first quarter. Look what the Bruins have done to the opposition, San Diego State, Nebraska, and now Long Beach tonight in the first period. 56 to nothing. Very, very powerful in the first quarter, a very good second quarter, but if you notice in that second half in those stats, and those stats are pretty interesting, kind of even the rest of the way out. But isn't that because they're kind of playing under wraps, chewing up the clock? No, because the other team is staying right with them. <laughs> I don't know, I buy that, Jack. Aikman loops it out here, incomplete. And we got a penalty marker down. He was going for Reggie Moore. Aikman is Eight out of ten prior to that toss for 74 yards and a touchdown. Looks like holding against Long Beach. That's it. Probably on Stacy Alexander, the cornerback. Uh, a little lob pass on a quick go pattern to the outside. Let's see if you can find number two, Stacy Alexander. We can't see him actually holding, but he must have because the flag's right there in the progress of hitting the ground. There's two of them right there. Look at that. Good shot. So both flags, so two officials call it. Good shot, guys. Now the line of scrimmage was holding against the defense before the pass was thrown. Automatic first down, 10 yards. So that'll put the ball then up to the 23, and that's where UCLA will have a first down. Troy Aikman, 8 out of 10 for 74 yards and a touchdown. Aikman's been kind of in a rut, hasn't he? Three touchdown passes, San Diego State, three against Nebraska, one already here tonight against Long Beach. He's a good one, Mike. He's definitely a good one. And we're still in the first quarter, 2.41 to go. Eric Ball. It's Eric Ball into the middle. Look at Ball go! Phil Morrison rode with Ball, and Ball gave him a ride for three or four yards. Again, you got to go back to the interior of that offensive line, just doing an outstanding job. Now, Ball's going to take the ball. Head right up in there behind the center, Frank Cornish and his guards and tackles. 
Now, once he gets into that secondary, 43 has a shot at him. Philip Morrison, he can't bring him down alone. He's going to take some help. Ball gets into that secondary. He shouldn't get that far, but remember now, he's 216 pounds, carries a lot of weight. He's very strong in his upper body. He has great running legs. And the Bruins with another first down. The ball at the 33. Play action fake. Aiken going long and deep for Farr. He's got him at the 30. And Mike Farr is tackled at the 36. 32 yards on the pass play. Troy Aikman to Mike Farr. The tackle made by the cornerback, Keith Jenkins. But a beautiful pass thrown by number eight. Well, it was a beautiful pass because he read the coverages. Long Beach State was going in an under and over, which means they're going to play a guy up short and play two guys deep over the top. Aikman reads it. His receiver sneaks in behind the short man. See it they're right there. And in front of the deep guy, makes the catch in front of Keith Jenkins. Excellent job of reading the coverage by Mike Farr. Great job by the quarterback. Farr is having a big first quarter. He's caught four here in the first period for seven. 71 yards. The inside handoff goes to the fullback. That's quick, and he is loose to the 20, 15, running over people to the 10. Mark Estwick, 223 pounds. A 25-yard run by Estwick. No, not the greatest speed in the world, but boy, is he tough to bring down. He is tough. He is strong. He's solid. Now watch him hit the line. Number 22, straight up the gut, bounces in and knocks his own man out of the way, and before you know it, he's through. There's one. 49ers should have made the tackle. There's two. He's trying to just shove him out of the way. That's three guys who had shots at him, the last being Keith Jenkins, but not to any avail for the 49ers. Excellent job by Mark Estwick. Ball is just uh, outside the 10-yard uh, line, about the 10-and-a-half, heating in motion. Aikman with heavy pressure throws the good. He's throwing for Keating down at the six. That is the day that Keating threw that ball, Mike, a little ahead of the time he wanted to release it. He got some pressure coming from the Long Beach State, the right side of their defensive line, which forced Aker to throw that ball a little sooner than he had anticipated. Now, remember, the ball is just across the 10, so the Bruins could get a first down inside the one. They could get it down that far. Darren Lindsay, the senior manager of UCLA, across the way in the white shirt. 120 left in the first quarter. 14 to nothing UCLA. Ball. Ooh, lost, it. lost it. Did he? Yep, he did indeed. Coming up with the ball is RJ Coors for Long Beach. Ball popped it up, and Coors comes up with the recovery. Watch what happens now when Ball at the end of this run. He, nice exchange between quarterback, gets through the line. Ball is knocked out of his hands as he tries to break his fall. It's loose, and there's RJ Coors right there, the man on the spot, right in proper position. Big break for the 49ers. Absolutely, because the Bruins were preparing to go in for another score. Still 14 to nothing UCLA, but now the beach has the ball with the first down at the three. Andre Sutherland is the tailback. The fullback is Phil Wright. The give is to Sutherland. Up to the 10-yard line. Andre Sutherland from Manassas, Virginia. 205-pound junior, tackled by John Fryer. And Pryor has a number that's a favorite of Terry Donahue, number 64. It's a good number. It's a good number for a down lineman. He's a very tough kid. I'm sure that that's what Terry wore, too, when he was playing. You're yeah. absolutely right. Or Mike Quick. Am I Quick, Mike? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're as sharp as Aikman here tonight. <laughs> no, I, I could never be that sharp. He's just such a talent. We're in the closing seconds of the first period. UCLA, 14 to nothing. It's Sutherland bucking yeah, heads again as he tries to pick up that first down. I don't know if he got it or not. It's going to be close. The tackle was made by Doug Klein. Well, UCLA is, is the defensive line. They're saying, you know, well, you may get us one time, but we're not stupid. Don't come back and run that same thing again. Or we're going to stick it down your throat. And that's what they did on that last play. You see that close up of number 76 in your picture just moments ago? Harold. Yes. Cornelius Harold. He is 6'5, 215 pounds. 315 pounds. What did I say, 200? Yeah. I meant 300. I know you did. He is the biggest Long Beach State 49. There he is, all 315 pounds of him. Does he remind you of anybody that plays for the Chicago Bears? Yeah, about two guys on the left side of the offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and two. The ball is close to the 11. 13 seconds left in this first period. It's Sutherland. Sutherland's got the first down and more as he advances the ball up to the 18. Andre Sutherland. Good block from the offensive guard on the right side, Brian Smith yeah, for Brian, Long Beach. Brian Smith, the strong guard, did a good job of pulling and leading on it. Also got play. a good block from his outside receiver on a crackback. And, and Long Beach State having some success running up the gut a couple of times and then bouncing that last one to the outside. And 
They haven't thrown in the towel. They're excellent. The first quarter is history here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. UCLA 14 to nothing over Long Beach. Yard touchdown pass by Aikman and a 56 yard run by Ball. Driving 78 yards and another with a good mix of run and pass. Long Beach with a first and 10 from their 18. The offensive line giving Graham time. He's going long and deep for Say. Almost intercepted by Daryl Hendley. That was down around the 40 yard line of UCLA, but Hendley matching Say stride for stride. That's exactly the truth. Man to man defense by Daryl Henley on number 80, Mark Say. Look at the ball. Now watch the very end. See if there's any contact at the very end of this play right here. I think what Say does is pretty smart. He saves an interception on the, for the part of Long Beach. The surprise there was no flag on there for, for offensive pass interference. But great coverage by that guy right there, number two, Daryl Henley. Second down from the Long Beach 18. Grant sets up the throw Grant again. Passing. This time it is too tall for Jeff Bielman, the tight end. Jeff Bielman. And the right idea, what he should have done, though, as you look at Jeff Graham, is waited until Bielman cleared the linebacker. There was more room inside. Bielman coming in on a square in route. Graham released that ball just a little bit too quick. Three of eight so far for 36 yards in the first half. He'll have, uh, he'll have a pretty good night if he can pull the trigger when he should. As you look at Coach Larry Rice being on the sideline, he's pretty happy right now. They're twice as good as Nebraska was last week. That's what he's saying. Third down and ten. That's one way to look at it. Ball is at the 18. Oh, Browning is nailed for a loss. Carnell Lake doing the honors. Carnell Lake, the outside linebacker. Some feel that he is a contender for the Butkus Award as an outstanding linebacking prospect in college football today. And Brian Browning is down after being nailed by Carnell Lake. Carnell Lake. Brown, Brown is down in that right knee. It looks like uh, he was holding it a minute ago, but let's wait and see what happens. They may take that helmet off and, and talk with him. Let's see if we can find out what happens. 24. There he comes, Brian Browning, the senior tailback. Tries to get away from Lake. Boom, and then he goes down in the grass of Carnell Lake. He may have twisted that knee just a little bit, Mike. There he is, 31, Carnell Lake. And you're right, he is definitely a candidate for the Butkus and Lombardi Awards. And when you remember that this guy only weighs 204 pounds, that's a remarkable attribute for being a linebacker playing the caliber of football that these guys play and to be in that type of competition for that award. We're talking about number 31, Carnell Lake. Dan Bailey, the veteran trainer for Long Beach. Man on the left of the screen, assisting Brian, Brian Browning. Browning. Off, the field. off of the field here at the Rose Bowl. I think it is that right knee. He's applying no pressure at all or very, very little. So now on fourth and 13, Long Beach will be forced to punt. This will be the fourth punt in the first half by Willie Lujan. Lujan Willie has been Lujan. doing a good job in that department. Oh, the rush is on, and Lujan does get it away. Henley fields the ball at the 48-yard line and steps out of bounds. 37 yards on the punt by Lujan. We're in the first minute of the second quarter. UCLA 14, the 49ers of Cal State Long Beach, nothing. College football action continues tomorrow when Cal State Fullerton battles UNLV in a Big West matchup. Then Stanford plays host to San Diego State. It's collegiate football on prime ticket beginning tomorrow at 4.30. Well, we had a nice visit in the booth prior to the start of the game from Number 20, Heisman Trophy winner at USC, Mike Garrett. I, well, I said hi to him. I just acknowledged him. I don't want to get him too much publicity because he killed us when I was in Notre Dame several times. An outstanding back and a great human being, Mark Mike Garrett. Estwick. Estwick is the ball carrier. Advances from the 48 of UCLA to the 48 of Long Beach. Next Flipped man, down by David Wiley. Well, Garrett's getting ready for that big battle, SC and Oklahoma, next Saturday at the Coliseum. It's going to be a Titanic. It's going to be two great football teams. Look at Estwick. Four carries, 43 yards already, averaging over 10 yards a pop already. Trojans with a bye this week. UCLA will have a bye next week. Aikman. Good Boy, Aikman. rifle that pass, and the grab is made by Charles Arbuckle at the 33. A pickup of 16 on the play. Arbuckle, 6'2", 233 from Houston, Texas. 
coming back from double knee surgery. And he's hurt. Oh, yes, and he's looking at that knee right now. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. He doesn't even want to get up. And that'd be a shame if he's got to go out and if he's hurt seriously. Charles Arbuck was the injured player for the Bruins. Larry Carter, veteran trainer for UCLA, is coming out onto the field. It's that left knee. Yep. He's wearing the brace on the right one where, where he's had so much problem. Now it's that left one. Let's see if we can take a peek and see exactly what happens. Nick Pantuso, 39, and Tom Kane's number one will come in at the very end of this pass completion. Now watch Aikman play. drill this ball in here amongst three defenders from Long Beach, and let's see if we can get a shot. There's one, two, three, and he goes down. Looks like that leg was planted, and he was knocked out from under him by Tom Kane's, and that may be the reason his left leg is injured. They'll test it right now. They'll try to move it in that joint. See how much freedom or how much play. Take a quick guessment. Is it cartilage or ligament? That might be the last we will see of our buckle tonight. Remember, as I mentioned just moments earlier, UCLA has a bye next week and then two weeks from today, UCLA opens conference play against the Washington Huskies in Seattle. Huskies had a tough time today against Army. Yeah, but I'll tell you, they don't want to use, lose this kid. Now, if there's any doubt that he may be injured even slightly, they'll keep him out of the rest of the ball game and take advantage of the next two weeks to get him ready. He is too valuable of an asset to that offense, and in particular to Troy Aikman. He runs great routes inside in front of the linebackers. He had five catches coming in to the game tonight with two touchdowns, too valuable to lose. First and 10, UCLA, the ball at the 32 of Long Beach. Troy Aikman pumps once, but penalty before he even release the pass, penalty markers are dropped all over the field. And Jim Fogeltance from the Pac-10 conference will sort this up. Remember, four officials are from the Pac-10, three from the Big West. He may have had one of the interior linemen jump offside before the snap of the ball, but uh, let's let's wait and see. Uh, illegal procedure on the offense. Five yards. First down. That'll put the ball back around the 38. The new tight end for UCLA is Corwin Anthony. The tackles are Bill Page and Keith Jacobson. The guards Rick Meyer and Lance Zeno, and the center is Frank Cornish. But the Bruins now faced with the first and 15, leading 14-0 early here in the second quarter. It's the tailback, Eric, Eric Ball. Ball. And Eric picks up about five, tackled by David Riley. Again, Ball so explosive hitting up in there behind that big offensive line he's got, Frank Cornish in particular. And a lot of people thought that this offensive line for UCLA would be down from where it was last year, especially with the loss of Warnick, Kidder, and Dave Richards. But uh, as you said, as you look at Ball, his stats, 8 for 93. That's a credit to that offensive line and the new people that are playing there. Moore is split to the right side. Far and Keating wide left. Aikman throwing for Moore, and he overthrows him at the 15 of Long Beach. Stan Davis on pass coverage for the beach. It's a wide receiver's nightmare when you come across the middle like that on a post, a quick post. Lemuel Hawkins is the nose tackle. Rick Kinsley, the other defensive end for the beach. Third and ten as Aikman pulls back. Here comes Reed from one side. And Aikman completes this to Mike Farr. And Farr gets a first down and then some as he is brought down around the 15. That's just tough. If you're Long Beach State right now, you're going crazy because you're having some good coverage. You watch far. Pretty decent coverage in the secondary by Long Beach State, but you got a guy with a cannon arm. Now watch him find the open, a little open scene there. He throws the ball right by Tom Kane's number one and zips it right in there. Big catch, big pass. Nice play, UCLA. That was 18 yards on the pass play. Aikman to Farr, and Mike Farr has caught five here in the first half for 89 yards. Aikman rolling right, throwing Boy, the Aikman. run, and completes another one. Or did, nope, no good. Trying to make the diving catch was Reggie Moore, and Moore is protest. Pantusa, good size, but not real strong upper body because he's only 210 pounds, but a heck of a job of running by Eric Ball. And you notice Ball was clutching that ball with both hands when he knew he was going to be hit. There it is, 102 yards on nine carries. It's Eric, Eric Ball. Ball trying to pick up the first down. It looks like he's got it from here. They will mark his progress uh, around the four-yard line. David Wiley on the tackle again. Harry Donahue's team up 14 to nothing over Cal State Long Beach. We have played about three and a half minutes of the second quarter. And on the other side, Larry Ricebig trying to encourage his troops. 
Larry is a graduate of Washington State. In three years as head coach at Pasadena City College, so this has got to be a thrill for the City College coach to come back here and play in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Aikman throwing on the run, no good. Stacy Alexander was on pass coverage for the beach as he was going to Mike Farr once again. Farr running a delayed square out route. Aikman waited until he made his break away from the defensive back. The ball was a little bit high, but a credit to Long Beach State. Alexander was right in great position. Now he's going to roll out to his, to his to your left as you're looking at it. Now you're going to see Farr break to the sideline. Now watch Alexander right in good position. And a little nudge knocks that ball out. It wouldn't have been any good anyway, even if he'd have caught it because he was out of bounds. Second and four, the ball is at the four-yard line. The pitch goes to Ball. Ball trying to sweep around the left side. He is in there. Touchdown, Eric Ball, UCLA. Ball carries it in from four yards out. That'll be the second touchdown for Ball if it holds up. There appears to be a penalty on the play. Let's see if we can spot it. Just a little toss back to the tailback ball. Again, we talked about him getting outside. He's got a lot of strength. He gets by 43. Philip Morrison looks like he's going down, but he does only after he crosses the goal line. And yeah, number one comes in there. Tom Kane's a little bit late, takes a shot. Personal foul against Long Beach. Dead ball. Personal foul against the defense. The touchdown's good. The penalty will be marked off on the kickoff. Penalties have hurt Long Beach. Coming into the game, Long Beach had been flagged for 19 penalties. Their opponents only four. Maggio to hold, Page to make the snap, Velasco to kick. Puts it right through. Velasco is about as close to being automatic on the PAT as you can get. And it's 21 to nothing, UCLA over the 49ers of Cal State Long Beach. Jeff Graham looks over that UCLA defense. He's got Derek Washington wide left. Sutherland is the tailback. Graham Jeff throwing Graham under heavy passing. pressure and completes it Wait, to Jeff Jim Bittner. Bittner coming out of the backfield. Bittner is from Camarillo, Camarillo, California. Chance Johnson and Randy Beverly. Johnson was the first man to make contact with Bittner. Nine, second down and one. they are marking the ball at the 29. UCLA has really dominated, as you can see by that graphic. UCLA has had four possessions tonight, which have resulted in three touchdowns, then a fumble on the Long Beach three-yard line by Eric Ball. The ball is more than made up for that. Ooh, Bittner is hit hard, or is it Sutherland? It's Bittner, or no, it's uh, Sutherland hit by Carnell Lake. Real tough hit, a loss of a yard or two. 21 to nothing, UCLA. Again, Long Beach State trying to go back up the middle after being successful outside. Jim Waller, 66, the new man at the nose tackle spot, comes in and makes the initial hit. Clean up by Carnell Lake. Excellent job by both the nose tackle and the outside linebacker. There's Waller right there. Remember now, he's playing in a new position for himself this year. That UCLA with seven tackles versus Nebraska last week, an outstanding week. Graham wants to visit with his head coach, Larry Reisbig. 10-23 left of the first half. UCLA. 21 nothing over Long Beach. This is the third game of the 1988 season for UCLA. Next year, the third game of the 1989 season for the Bruins, there will be no Long Beach State. The third game will be the Michigan Wolverines from the Big Ten. That will be interesting. In I fact, think. UCLA opens next year against Tennessee, then plays at San Diego State and then Michigan. Tennessee and Michigan here at the Rose Bowl. Sutherland trying and to go Sutherland. to the right side, and he swung under. You could probably see number 49, Marcus Patton, help take him down. Marcus Turner. Patton is filling in for Eric Smith, who suffered a concussion in the first play of the Nebraska game a week ago. So the UCLA coaching staff holding Smith out as a precautionary measure. Number 46 next to Donahue is the kicker, Kurt Maggio, and also the holder for Velasco. 
Wallinger, another kicker, number three in the background for UCLA. First and ten. Long Beach at the 31. 21 to nothing, UCLA. Play action fake, and Graham reloads, and he completes the pass at the 49 to Kelly Ryan. Ryan is a junior flanker back from Santa Ana, and that's an 18-yard gain, first down Long Beach. Tackle made by Daryl Hindley. Well-designed play. They're going to be running out of a slot formation with Kelly Ryan in the slot. He's running a square out. The outside receiver will go deep to take that cornerback out of there, thus creating the hole. Cornerback for UCLA finally realizes the problem, regroups, comes back, and knocks Kelly Ryan out of bounds. Nice execution on the part of Long Beach State. And Ryan goes immediately to the sidelines, replaced by Mark Say. 21 to nothing, UCLA, Graham ready to pitch again. Fires, knocked down by Henley. Perfect play by the cornerback, Daryl Henley, reaching in and slapping the ball away with one hand. He's well, you, going to Mark Say. You can tell he just felt very, very confident on that last play. Now, Graham's going to drop back. If he gets rid of this ball right now, instead of now, that's a completed pass. But watch Henley come in on Say, get that right hand, perfect position, perfect execution, just the way you teach it. Excellent job by the cornerback Daryl Henley. There it is again. Nice job. Good shot. See the hand in there? Knock it away. Mark Say goes out, replaced by Kelly Ryan as Rice Big, the Long Beach coach, sends in the players with his wide receivers. Bittner in motion. And Graham had to Jeff throw Graham. in a hurry. Beelman Passing. was the intended receiver. Penalty marker dropped. That is to Jeff Beelman. May have had that slot man for Long Beach State moving prior to the snap. Looked like there was some movement on the line for Long Beach State. Marcus Patton applying the pressure. Illegal shift. Third and ten. So that'll move the ball back if the penalty is taken. Long Beach State, you'll be hearing a lot of guys' names tonight. Illegal shift on the offense. The Decline. And both teams, and the reason is that Coach Larry Reisbig of Long Beach State, as you look at him on the sideline, he wants to have a lot of players play, get some game experience, and get ready so that when they go into the Big West Conference, they're going to be okay. And on the other side of the coin, Donahue's going to do the same thing. Get a lot of those young players in, give them some experience, let them play some football, and have a good time. Third and ten at the 49 of Long Beach. 21 to nothing, UCLA on top. Coming in fast on Graham. And the pass is caught, but it's no good because the receiver, Derek Washington, was out of bounds. It's a great catch up by Derek Washington. But too bad it was out of bounds. Again, bump and run on the part of the Bruins. Graham trying to force that ball in there. We'll get a shot here of the linebackers for UCLA inside. 31 is Carnell Lake. Here they come on the blitz. There's Chance Johnson, number seven. All kinds of pressure. When you see that pressure of the dog blitz like that, then you know the outside receivers are going to be in a bump and run, man to man coverage. Tom Kane's the linebacker, will make the long snap. Oh, Henley deep on. To return for the Back deep is Darrell Henley, who again signals for the fair catch. Signals for a fair catch. That was a 42-yard punt. By the way, that was the fifth punt by Willie Lujan, who last week at Eugene, Oregon, set a school record. Lujan punted 12 times. Well, he should be loose and ready for tonight's game. There's no question. That's an awful lot of punts, awful lot of punts. It doesn't shows speak too you well of your offense production, Mike, does it? Exactly the point I was about to make, because Long Beach had only 108 total yards against the Oregon Ducks. We've been mentioning about the open date that UCLA has next week. Long Beach has a bye also next Saturday. They will jump into Big West Conference play against UOP, the Pacific Tigers at Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, starting at 12 noon, the first of October. John Will. Well, Sean Wills with his first carry of the night, and he is rudely treated by the 49ers of Cal State Long Beach. He almost undressed him. Look, look at those stats. Averaging 11.8 yards a carry and has already scored three touchdowns, and this comes from a youngster who wasn't expected to play a whole lot this early in the season. But because of his performances in the first two games, there's nothing you can do. You can't keep him out. you got to get him in the ball game, especially when Eric Ball needs a rest. Penalty marker was dropped. And according to Tom Keynes, the penalty will be against UCLA. He was pointing in that direction. But we will get the official word from referee Jim Fogelpence. Dead ball foul. Personal foul. NC offense. Second down. So that'll put the ball back at the five, half the distance. And it'll be second and 15 for the Bruins. 
from their own five-yard line. UCLA 21 to nothing, just over nine minutes left here in the first half. Aikman from the goal line, a little slant in pass play to Mike Farr, and Farr is up across the 15, dropped at the 16 by Pat Quigley. A pickup of 11 on the quick arm of Troy Aikman to UCLA's Mike Farr. They got the ball in their own five-yard line now, and they're passing. Farr is in the slot, running a quick slant, and look at the ball. This is a great shot right there, right in front of Pat Quigley. You don't realize how tough a pass that is. You cannot be off at all an inch or two on either side. Excellent job between quarterback and receiver. Third down for UCLA. Ball is at the 16. Esquick moving over one step. He's the lone running back. And audibleizing is quarterback Troy Aikman. Rolling left and firing complete to Farr. And Farr is rolled out of bounds at the 30-yard line. A first down for UCLA. Leon Patterson escorting Farr out of bounds. 14 yards on the pass play. And what a big first half for Mike Farr. Good receiver, a good pattern runner. Runs the outs, the ins very, very well. Has better than average speed, but a great job, too, done by the quarterback, Aikman, who stood in the way of a, of a blitzing outside linebacker for Long Beach and got that ball in perfect position. Coming into this game after two, Farr had caught eight balls. He's already caught seven here in the first half. We're midway through the second quarter. Aikman going long and deep for Brendan McCracken at the 30. McCracken will score on a touchdown of 70 yards for UCLA. I think that may have been David Keating on that, but he did a great job of reading the zone coverage. The front man came up to Keating and let him get by, and the inside safety for Long Beach State did not get back to where he belonged. Consequently, touchdown for UCLA. McCracken is 12, Keating is 82. I saw the two flash down there. Watch Keating right here at the bottom of the screen, low left. He gets right by number six, Dan Davis. Now, where's the safety man? He's got to get back deeper than that. He can't be sitting in there. Number four, Leon Patterson. His responsibility is deep outside. He does not take care of his responsibility, and consequently, an easy touchdown for the Bruins. Aikman is 14 out of 20 for 234 yards. That's his second touchdown throw tonight. The first one went one yard to Danny Thompson. Velasco to kick the extra point out of the hole of Kurt Maggio. And it's a 28 to nothing UCLA advantage with just over eight minutes to go in the second quarter. So Terry Donahue can relax a little bit now. Taking a drink on the sidelines, 28 to nothing, UCLA. You know, there's an example, as you look at Donahue, but there's an example of what Reisbeck has told us. There's Aikman going back over with one of the coaches. Here's another good shot at it. He just lays that ball out there, lets his receiver, David Keating, run under it. Again, a nice pass, bringing him back a little bit to the inside. He's already got number four, Leon Patterson beat, and he's off to the races and a touchdown for David Keating. He's got good speed, good quickness, TD Bruins. Keating had a touchdown against Nebraska. Am I right or was it San Diego State? Well, he came in the game with five for 55 yards in a TD. College Football 88 is brought to you by Volkswagen. See the Volkswagen Fox today at your neighborhood Volkswagen dealer. By Strohs and Stroh Light. Now you're talking good times and Strohs is spoken here. And by Michelin because so much is riding on your tires. Michelin. Well, this game has not featured the intensity, nor did anyone expect it to, as compared to Nebraska a week ago. But the Bruins are out there doing their job, and they've got Long Beach down 28 to nothing. It's Mark Say returning this kickoff. Say is up to the 30. Say trying to get to the outside, but he's bumped down at the 35. And let's see who's getting up off the bottom of the pile. It's Dion Lambert making the tackle. So the Bruins moving 90 yards in just four plays on that 70-yarder, Aikman to Keating. Long Beach with the first and 10 at the 35. Graham wants to air it out. Graham passing. The receiver fell yeah. down. And just... somebody, a spectator on the sideline, made the catch. Mark Say was running an out and up, or so he was supposed to run an out and up. When he made his out move and he started to go back upfield, he slipped and fell down. That's when Graham released the ball. 
Nice catch on the part of the uh, fan over there. It might have been Kelly Ryan, the intended receiver. I noticed Graham put his left arm on his shoulder pad. Jeff Graham out of Costa Mesa, California, five out of 14 now for 63 yards. This Long Beach team has had a difficult time scoring in three games. Almost two and a half games. Still have just under uh, eight minutes to play in the second quarter. Andre Sutherland, the ball carrier, tackled by Stacy Argo. You realize Long Beach has scored just one touchdown this season. That was the opener against Boise State. One touchdown this season, 10 points total in two ball games. So they're averaging five points a game, which is a direct transition from when Mike Shepard was there. He believed in throwing that ball 40, 45 times a game. A little more balanced, though, with Larry Reisbeek. Mike Shepard is down at the University of New Mexico now. Pulling back, Graham. Across the middle, it is intercepted, and it's intercepted by Marcus Turner. At the 30, Marcus Turner to the 20, Marcus Turner, touchdown, UCLA. 50 yards on the intercept by senior Marcus Turner, and that is his 11th career interception for UCLA. And three of those 11 have gone for touchdown. Tell you what, his second interception this year, he was playing in the weeds on that last play. He's taking that ball off with him. He wants to keep it. Graham's going to throw a pass to a receiver he thinks is wide open. Watch Marcus Turner come in, step in here at the last minute. He's playing at super. Intercepts that ball in front of Derek Washington. Now he's off to the races, heads to the far sideline. 32 gets a shot at him. That's Andre Sutherland. He can't bring him down. Turner is running like a man who's possessed with the fact that I want to score. I want to get this ball in the end zone. One last feeble attempt by David McKinnon, the offensive tackle. And Alfredo Velasco kicks the extra point. And the score of outs here at the Rose Bowl. The Bruins now in a commanding 35 to nothing advantage over Cal State Long Beach. So Marcus Turner, when he intercepts him, Intercepts them, he makes them pay. His Boy. third touchdown with an intercepted pass in his career. Reisbeck can see it getting away now. You can see it getting out of hand. He's yelling, come on, let's go. Let's get your composure back now. Let's don't make any stupid mistakes. He's getting down, and you, you can't have that happen. you got to stay in there and just fight it. Number 55 in your picture is Racine Keaton for UCLA. And there's the veteran Ducky Drake next to Terry Donahue. If there ever was a Mr. UCLA, it is that man, Ducky Drake, trainer emeritus. Track Stadium at UCLA is named after him. Before practice, Ducky Drake walks out and shakes hands with every player on the practice field. An institution. Wes Denton will kick off. Kurt Maggio has kicked off most of this game. Denton, I think this will be his third attempt at a kickoff. 35 to nothing, UCLA. And it's Mark Say at the goal line. Mark to the 10. Say loses his footing and goes down at the 21, then loses the football. Ryan Rockwood. There's the man we're talking about. Ducky's got to be in his 80s, mid 80s or so, but doesn't he look great? He does. And he, he bounces around that practice field like a guy 20 years his junior, doesn't he? He's always out there just, just moving around, shaking hands, and uh, full of life. Bill Hohenbaugh, one of the equipment men at UCLA, with a handshake to Ducky Drake. 35 to nothing, UCLA, and Long Beach with a first and 10 now. The ball at the 22. Still seven minutes to go in the first half. It's the tailback, and then Sutherland. Andre Sutherland picks up a couple of yards. This is Mike Walden along with Jack Snow, Dave Walden and Marshall Barnes helping us in the booth up here tonight along with uh, Dennis Munition, our demon Ryan statistician, Wilcox. and Jerry Romano, our producer down in the truck. 35 to nothing, UCLA. Kelly Ryan comes back in at flanker now for Long Beach. Ryan will go wide right along with Derek Washington. Second and eight, the ball at the 24. They hand off to Sutherland. Here comes Lake after Graham, and Graham unloads, and it is caught at the 32 by Kelly Ryan. Ryan gets up to the 33. 
Graham rolled out to his right side. He had uh, a fair amount of time. We're going to get another shot at it. They're going out of a slot formation on the right side. The inside man is Kelly Ryan. The outside man is Derek Washington. You'll see Kelly Ryan, who runs a score out, then comes back to meet the ball, goes up, cradles it, makes a big catch. Now he's going to try and get some extra yardage, and in fact, he probably loses a yard or two trying to come backwards. You don't want to do that. There he is. They will mark the ball at the 34. And Long Beach will have a first down. But we've got an injured Bruin player over there. It looks like Randy Beverly, if that indeed is number 32. I think you're right. I think it is 32. Remember Randy's dad? Defensive back. New York Jets? Yeah, and he played a little bit with the New England Patriots. Well, I remember him used to beat him like a drum. Just kidding. No, uh, no, it never did. Uh -oh. Never did. Never did. Looks like that left knee had given him a little bit of a problem right there. He's, but he's up. Let's see how he walks off the field. If he walks off pretty much under his own power, he'll be okay. Thursday, Prime Ticket visits beautiful San Diego for the next stop on the Pro Beach Volleyball Tour. It's the San Diego Gold Crown, Thursday at 7.30 here on Prime Ticket. Sports television at its best. Beach with the first down at their own 34. Graham is going to get sacked. Yep, and they're pushing him back to about the 26. Mike Lodish was the first man to make contact. And Lodish, who checks in at 6'3", 253, from Birmingham, Michigan, makes a sack of Jeff Graham. And the high fives all around for Mike Lodish. Seven and a half career sacks so far. This is his second sack of the season. Mike Lodish, not a real big guy, but again, he come from the right side of your screen. He just throws that offensive tackle, Cornelius Harrell, away from him. Gets in there and grabs the quarterback, Graham, and brings him down single-handedly. Bulldogs him up around the neck. Excellent play by Mike Lodish. Derek Washington and Mark Say, wide right for Jeff Graham. The give is to Sullivan, and Sullivan is wrapped up by Carnell Lake. Lake having an excellent first half on defense for UCLA. Looks like the 49ers are not executing as they should be in a game like this. Nobody blocked Carnell Lake on that last play. Somebody's got to get a piece of him, and when you allow a guy with his ability to break free, break through, untouched, he's going to create some problems in that backfield, as he did on that last play. It's tough when you're down 35 to nothing to jack yourself up, realizing you have almost five minutes left in this half and two more quarters to follow. Exactly, but you've got to do it. The mentally tough guys, you've got to do it. You've got to get the... Here on the back of that neck up and just go after it. On third and 16, Graham has to cover his own fumble. I don't know whether that was Graham's fault or the center's fault on the snap. Whatever, Graham had to pounce on it. Well, he's not talking with the center, so it looks like maybe it may have been his fault all the way. So we will get another punt now by oh, Willie Lujan. This will be the sixth punt by Lujan and a fair catch signal for by Henley. Only 32 yards on the punt by Lujan, but the Bruins in great shape, great field position, almost at midfield. 35-0 UCLA. The top five in the Associated Press poll this week. Number one, Miami almost lost, but the Canes pulled it out 31-30 in uh, Ann Arbor today over Michigan. UCLA 2, Clemson lost today to Florida State. Oklahoma beat Arizona 28-10 in Norman, Oklahoma, and SC had a bye. Almost had a reshuffling of those one and two positions mm -hmm. there, almost. I bet Terry Donahue was glad <laughs> that Miami pulled it out. Maury Toy is the new fullback, and Sean Wills the tailback for quarterback Troy Aikman. Aikman's got a lot of time and rifles that pass complete to Reggie Moore, and then he... Loses the ball and Wills covers for UCLA. I think they're going to rule it incomplete. They may rule it incomplete. Ooh, I don't know. I thought Moore had it and then coughed it up. I agree with you. I think that may have been a legitimate catch and he just lost it after he got hit. We'll get a shot at it. Watch the zip on this ball by Aikman. Whoop! Right in there. There it is. Seem, there's a catch. Does he have it? Uh, it's, he looks like he may be jostling it, but it looked. Uh, it's hard to tell from that angle. But it looked like he may have brought it from his numbers right down into his waist and then lost it. The hit was made by the defensive back, Keith Jenkins. The stats of Troy Aikman so far. And the pitch to Wills. John Wills. Look at Wills go. The freshman from Hanford up in the Fresno area. 
Will's a little bit unhappy. He thought he should have had some more. Well, he put a dipsy do move on. <laughs> yes, he you're did. You want to see a great move? Watch Will's as he starts out to the. To, the, to your right side, his left, and watch a little inside fake right here to bring those defense, whoop, and then right back outside. R.J. Coors is sucked right in. Finally, Keith Washington, number nine, comes over to make the tackle, but what a move by a freshman. What a move by any ball carrier, but especially a freshman as you look at 37, Sean Wills go out for a breather. Thompson is the new tailback. Aikman pumps once. Now fires, and it is no good. He was going for Mike Farr. Farr had a couple of white-shirted Long Beach players around him there at the 10. Farr hasn't dropped many in the first half. No, he hasn't. And that was an interesting adjustment made by both receiver and quarterback. Farr, who's running the out, he gets a little look-see from Aikman, turns it into a go. Aikman lays the ball out there. It's a little bit short. Looked like it hit the defensive back. Stan Davis took one in the back of the helmet there for the team. And uh, a little longer pass would have been a touchdown to Mike Farr, I think. Sean Wills is back in at tailback. Toy is the fullback. He's going to be an offside. That right tackle flinched. Penalty marker was dropped first by the line judge, Bill Athen of the Big West Conference. UCLA has had the ball 40 plays here in the first half. They Head ball foul. The legal procedure on the offense. UCLA has had the ball for 40 plays, according to statistician Dennis Munition. And the Bruins have gained 400 yards, so UCLA averaging 10 yards per play. That's, that's unbelievable. That's a great statistic. But again, good drives and a couple of very long runs by the by the tailback's ball and uh, some long passes. That'll, that'll get that average up in a hurry. Yes, indeed. That long pass from Aikman to Keating, 70 yards for the score. And ball raced in from 56 yards out for another score. Aikman throwing on the run to Keating and makes the catch. Keating planting the ball down firmly at the 33. Mark Ziegenhagen with a little bit of a left elbow there. Stay down. Don't get up so fast. <laughs> what a good route run by number 82, David Keating. Great concentration. We'll get another shot. Now watch the quick release. Short drop back. One, two, three, set, plant, and fire. Inside the linebacker, in front of the defensive back. Keating goes down nicely on a big slant in and scoops it up. You would expect Keating to have the good hands. He's a member of the UCLA baseball team. Absolutely. Good outfielder. Good yeah, quickness. Drafted by the Minnesota Twins in 85, by the Indians in 88. Gary Donahue's happy that he decided to forego pro baseball for a while. This is Randy Austin, a third string tight end, making the grab for UCLA at the 30. If you're just joining us on the telecast, Charles Arbuckle went out with an injury to his left leg or left knee in the, uh, oh, about 10 minutes ago. Right, right. We have a penalty on that play. And it would appear that it'll be against UCLA as they discuss it with Tom Keynes, the inside linebacker of Long Beach. Holding against the offense, 10 yard penalty. Be with us at halftime. I think you're really going to enjoy this feature on number 68, Frank Cornish. Frank, by the way, is going to have a birthday next Saturday. He'll turn 21. And we'll have some highlights of the first half, some stats for you, and our prime ticket college scoreboard. A lot of activities during halftime, so stay with us. Third and 14 now for the Bruins. Out of the shotgun. Aikman. Completes this one, and the grab is made by Reggie Moore. The split in. 18 yards and a first down. The Bruins needed 14 to get the first down. They got 18 on the strength of the right arm by the senior from Henrietta, Oklahoma. Long Beach coming with a blitz on the outside, but it was well picked up by the offensive line and backs of UCLA, which uh, allowed Aikman to find Reggie Moore coming across the middle in a one-on-one, -on -one, a man-to-man -man situation. Nice catch by Reggie Moore. Mike Farr wide to the right. First down at the 27 of Long Beach. It goes to the tailback, Sean Wills. Look out, he's at the 20, the 15, the 10, and he spilled at the 9. Sean Wills, 19 yards. 
how deceptive a runner he is. The freshman from Hanford, California, Sean Will. Doesn't look especially fast, but he is very quick. Watch his feet. Look at those feet move. Now watch a little dipsy do right here. He gets man to man on nine. Washington goes by him, and then he steps on his own blocker before he goes down. Sean Will is a 180-pound freshman, true freshman out of Hanford. Don't you like the way he slides with that defense? Quick feet. Very, very quick feet. Turn left and right in an instant. First and goal at the Long Beach 9. Aikman throws in the end zone. A touchdown for Reggie Moore. Nine yards on the play. Reggie Moore, a sophomore from Houston, Texas. And the Bruins have registered 41 points here in the first half. And Aikman, he's in that groove. Three more touchdowns in this game. Watch the defensive back now. He never knows where the ball is. He can't find the ball. And when that happens to a defensive back, Stan Davis, in this case, you're dead. As a defensive man, you're dead. The receiver owns you, and Reggie Moore owned him. Catches a nice nine-yard touchdown pass. So Aikman, three touchdowns against San Diego State, three against Nebraska, coming back with three more here against Long Beach. And Velasco tacks on the extra point. Reggie Moore getting the high five along the UCLA sideline. Let's just take a look at that score once again. Just a quick fade pattern by the receiver, Reggie Moore. Now watch him lay the ball out there to the back pylon. Look at the defensive back. See his head. He has no idea where the football is. Right now he's beaten. Excellent pass. Great concentration. Touchdown, UCLA. We've just received word from the UCLA bench that Arbuckle has a sprained knee. And he will play no more tonight. Charles Arbuckle. There's Bill Page conferring with Terry Donahue as the Bruins. So seven plays, 52 yards on the Aikman to Moore touchdown pass. So Troy Aikman now has 26 career touchdowns to his credit, and this is only his 15th game in a UCLA uniform. It is, and, but this year he has looked so much better than last year from a composure standpoint and an attitude standpoint. When you look at him this year as compared to the first couple games last year, this year he is a man who's going to run these troops as opposed to last year, hey, I've got my chance, I've got my chance to play at a big college and I want to go out and do the best I can. This year he comes in knowing hey, I can do the job and I'm going to do the job. Ball will be fielded by Bittner. He turned right away from Davis. And Bittner is then thrown out of bounds, and we got penalty markers all over. Davis was deep, but Bittner just took it right away from Davis. And we'll check out the penalty. Blocking below the waist against Long Beach. 49ers have really hurt themselves with penalties here. Look at Bitter come back and just grab it out of the hands of the safety man. And see if we can find the penalty. You don't want to block below the waist on, on kickoffs because a lot of times you get blindside blocks. You can really hurt somebody and wipe them out. So that will mark the ball at the eight-yard line of Long Beach. It'll be a first down for the beach from their own eight. UCLA 42-6. Running backs are Bittner and Sutherland for Long Beach. The give is to Bittner. Andre Sutherland. And uh, he gets a couple of yards and brought down over there by Matt Darby. 42 to nothing, UCLA. We're in the final minute and a half of this first half. Bruins have had three touchdown passes in this half from Troy Aikman. They've had a couple of touchdowns from Eric Ball. 56 yards and four yards. Marcus Turner with a 50-yard intercepted pass for a the 14-yard line. It's been that kind of a game, that kind of half for UCLA. Second and four, the ball at the 40. Ooh, Graham. Andre Sutherland. The ball like a hot potato as it pops out of his hand. Finally ending off to Sutherland. Andre Sutherland tackled by Jim Waller, the nose guard. Next week, the Bruins will enjoy a bye. No game next Saturday. In fact, Terry Donahue has said that he'll give the Bruins Monday and Tuesday off from practice. Then they come back on Wednesday, and they have about 10 days to get ready for the Washington Huskies up in Seattle. October the 1st, a game that we'll have for you on Prime Ticket at 10.30. 
Saturday night, the 1st of October. First and 10 from the 19. Sutherland trying to get to the outside. Andre Sutherland. He is able to pick up about four or five yards, scooting up close to the 25. Andre Sutherland out of Manassas, Virginia. He was a junior college All-American in a small little community college in Kansas when he came to Long Beach. He's given the beach some semblance of a ground game. <laughs> you, yeah, some semblance of a ground game. But they're trying. They're doing the best job they can. They're just, let's face it, they're just overmatched. That'll be the final play of the first half. And at the intermission here at the Rose Bowl, you'd think that Terry is down 42 to nothing. But nope, UCLA on top, 42 nothing over Cal State Long Beach. We'll be back with all of our halftime features in just a few moments. And the beat goes on here at halftime as the high school musicians from some 64 high schools here in the Southern California area entertain. And the beat goes on for UCLA, 42 to nothing over Cal State Long Beach, and Troy Aikman is in a very pleasant groove. Three touchdowns against San Diego State, three against Nebraska, and three more here in the first half against Cal State Long Beach. Well, Troy Aikman is no question one of the finest here. He gets the Bruins on the scoreboard early with a one-yard pass to Danny Thompson, culminating a 78-yard drive. They come back on a 56-yard run by Eric Ball. He gets to the outside, turns the corner, and he is off the races. UCLA goes up 14 to nothing. The extra point is by Velasco is good. UCLA will come back in the second quarter with 11 minutes and three seconds left on the clock. Again, it's going to be Eric Ball doing the honors as you see him right there in the end zone. He's happy. High five and all around by the UCLA Bruins. Here's Ball again. A four yard run by Eric Ball puts the Bruins up 21 to nothing. Again, culminating the 52 yard drive, two long drives. Here's a 70 yard pass from Troy Aikman to David Keating. Blown coverage on the part of the Long Beach State 49ers. Keating in good position. Aikman lays it out there nicely. Grabs the pass into the end zone. Touchdown UCLA. Extra points good. The Bruins up 28-0. In the second quarter with 7.09, we're going to see a super interception by Marcus Turner come up. And there's Keating getting congratulations. Jeff Graham, the quarterback, is going to go to his slot receiver. He thinks he has him for a first down. Marcus Turner will step up inside. Here comes Turner on the left of your screen, up inside, picks it off. And now he's off to the races. Good for 50 yards to put the Bruins up 35-0. Watch him get hit here, but he's going to maintain his balance find himself in the corner of the end zone, UCLA up 35-0. Again, the fourth score of the second quarter for the UCLA Bruins. Again, will come on a nine-yard pass. Troy Aikman, his third TD pass of the game to Reggie Moore, who makes a nice coverage, or a nice catch against man-to-man -man coverage. And I think the stats, yes, they do bear out just how one-sided this game has been. 456 total yards for the Bruins, 109 for Long Beach and yet that is an improvement because Long Beach got only 108 the entire four quarters of play in that 49 to nothing shutout in Eugene Oregon last Saturday time of possession also fairly equal you look at the time of possession 14 24 for the Cal State Long Beach 49ers and 1536 for the Bruins unfortunately for Long Beach State they're not doing anything with that time my guess would be that Troy Aikman will handle the first possession for UCLA then it'll be good night job well done and he'll be gone for the rest of the evening I think so I agree 100% they're gonna have to give him a shot in the first section 42 to nothing two more quarters of play coming up from the Rose Bowl here in Pasadena California And this is Mike Walden along with Jack Snow as we look at our prime ticket scoreboard. Oregon over Washington State in Pullman, 43 to 28. California, the Bears leading the Beavers of Oregon State, 13 to 3. That's in the third period in Corvallis, Oregon. Oklahoma in Norman over Arizona, 28 to 10, although the Wildcats were down only 14 to 10 before Oklahoma got two more scores. Quickly checking some of the others, Stanford rolled over San Diego State, 31 to 10. The Washington Huskies 31-17 over Army and Washington again will be UCLA's next opponent the 1st of October in Seattle. Colorado State with a 7-0 lead over the Sun Devils. Surprise there. 
A final today, number one, Miami over Michigan, 31 to 30. Florida State knocked off number three, Clemson, 24-21. And Auburn buried Kansas, 56 to seven. Auburn's got a good, good football team, Mike, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them move up in the polls. Some more scores, Georgia over Mississippi State, 42 to 35. Notre Dame looking very strong, 20 to three over Michigan State, and LSU crushed Tennessee, 34 to nine. Some other scores, Maryland over West Virginia. South Carolina beat East Carolina. And Penn State rallied to beat Boston College 23 to 20. Looks like the Fighting Irish, your old school Jack Snow, off to a good start, 2-0. Oh. Had a very tough first half, though, against those uh, Spartans there. Very good football team. George Perlis did a good job the first half. Unfortunately, the Irish wore them down the second half. Notre Dame is now 2-0 oh against the state of Michigan, <laughs> edging the Wolverines a week ago. Well, for Larry Ricebig, I wonder what he told his troops at halftime. Go out there and play for pride. You've got to, got to give your best effort for the final two quarters, even though we're down 42 to nothing. He said, let's get out there on that football field. Every man do his own job. Do it to the best of your ability. Find focus, and let's try and get some points on the board. Be respectable. Gain a little bit of respectability. But most important, when you walk off this field and I make sure that you can tell yourself, hey, I gave it my best shot. And something that they did not do in that first half. A lot of internal breakdowns on the part of the 49ers. After the bye next week, then it's the October 1st date for the Bruins at Seattle against the Washington Huskies. The next game here at the Rose Bowl will be on the 8th of October against Oregon State. Then the Bruins go on the road for two more the 15th of October at California and the 22nd at Arizona. That will be a live telecast on the Prime Ticket Network from Tucson. McCracken and Sharon Wills, or uh, Sharon, Sean Wills are the deep men for UCLA. And it'll be McCracken who brings it back. McCracken up to the 20, the 25, and he is put down around the 26. The tackle made by Mark Ziegenhagen of Long Beach. 42 to nothing, uh, UCLA, and Ron Carriger will take over at quarterback for UCLA. So apparently Troy Aikman will just go one half. Ball on the 27-yard line. Aikman, first three touchdown ten. passes in the first half, and I Ron doubt very much if you'll see him again tonight. 42 to nothing, UCLA. Here's the pitch to Wills, Will. and Sean Wills Cuts up to about the 32-yard line. Sean Wills. They mark it down closer to the 33. Tom Keynes and Mauricio Gutierrez in on the tackle. And McCracken will leave. New wide right receiver for UCLA is Lawrence Berkeley. There are the stats Second on Troy four. Aikman. 17 out of 25 for 272 yards and three touchdowns. So, Carrier. Throwing on the run yeah, and completing pass. his first pass, or did he? The hit was made by Mauricio Gutierrez. Intercepted. And they say it was an interception. Gutierrez coming up with it for Long Beach. And the UCLA player is getting up very slowly and walking off. Well, the for Another shot of it now. The UCLA receiver gets Mauricio popped real good, but here's Carragher on the rollout. The receiver comes into view in the upper right-hand corner. He's open. The one thing he does, he does not come back to the football, and that's the reason that the ball winds up being intercepted. Stacy Alexander pops that ball loose off his wide receiver. Gutierrez comes in, picks up the interception for Long Beach. I couldn't pick up the intended receiver. Could you, Jack? No, I did not. Graham throwing Jeff and Graham. completing the pass to Derek Washington. And he is being chased down by Turner. Eric Turner, 20 Eric yards Turner. on the pass play for Long Beach. Long Beach has yet to score in two and a half plus games in the second quarter, the third quarter, or the fourth period. And we're in the first minute, ineligible receiver downfield. That'll be five yards, but no loss of a down. Here's what I said about the fine focus. I mean, that just takes a real nice play away. They get down there inside that 30-yard line of UCLA. Now they got to bring it back and start all over again. That will drive coaches absolutely crazy. Here's our opportunity. We get the ball out to Washington. What happens then is we got to wind up on a penalty. Downfield on the offense. And penalties have really hurt 
Long Beach in the losses to Boise State, Oregon, and here tonight against UCLA. Graham has been intercepted once, and that went for a touchdown. The first and 15 on the 48-yard line. Marcus Turner, 49 intercept, and going 50 yards to the score. Graham completes it to Jim Bittner. Bittner is cut down right around midfield by Doug Klein. Marcus Patton also in there on the tackle, but I'll tell you what, just an excellent job by the UCLA defense of reacting to the ball, getting a good stick in there, and covering the receiver very nicely. The UCLA Bruins do not want to relax either. As long as those guys are in there, the front line guys, they've got to excel. They've got to sell out, give 100%, and do their job. Don't get in, into any bad habits. Bielman, the tight end, is in the slot to the left. Now he's coming in motion this way. Graham wants to throw, throwing for Marseille, who has the ball at the 38, and Say is put down at the 36. Daryl Henley, the first man to make contact. 13 Darryl yards Henley on the pass the play. Graham to Say. Again, Long Beach State coming out with their first possession of the second half. Three nice passes by the quarterback Jeff Graham to his outside receivers, one to his running back. Unfortunately, the penalty negated one of those as you look at Mark Say come off the field. A nice route, a nice catch. New outside linebacker for UCLA, Billy Ray. And a new receiver, a wideout for Long Beach, Kelly Ryan. The give is to the tailback, Andre Sutherland, Sutherland, into the middle. Andre Sutherland picks up a couple. First man to hit him was Matt Darby, with some assistance from Eric Turner. Marcus Patton, number 49, filling in for the injured Eric Smith. One of the outside linebacking spots for UCLA. Through the course of the, the remaining part of the second half, Mike, people are going to are asked, why do they keep trying to hit the line with people like Sutherland? Why do they continue to try and, and run the in there when they're so far behind? The point is they've got to work on things in preparation for the Big West Conference, and you've got to work on those things. And if you can su be successful against UCLA, it's going to be that much easier in your conference. Graham. Throwing to the tight end, Bielman, who is tackled immediately by Turner, Marcus Turner. Kelly Ryan. And it'll be a 16-yard gain on the play. Bielman on the receiving end of that forward pass from Jeff Graham. Again, Bielman, the tight end, not a big guy, only 210 pounds. But watch the zip by Graham on his pass. A little fake pulls it down because the linebacker was right in his line of vision, but an excellent job by the tight end, Jeff Neal. Good concentration, comes up with a big catch before being brought down by Eric Turner. First and... 10 now for Long Beach, the ball at the 16. Derek Washington wide right along with Kelly Ryan. It's Sutherland trying to slant over tackle, and he is stopped right around the 14 or 15 yard line. Doug Klein and Marcus Patton collaborating on the stop for UCLA. And Kelly Ryan comes out, replaced by Mark Say, is Larry Reisbig, the Coach at well, Long Beach, rotating his wide receivers, bringing in the play from the bench. Sutherland with 56 yards tonight. 56 hard yards. He's been running hard inside, tackle to tackle. He's been taking a beating, but he keeps bouncing up. Good hard runner. Second and eight from the 14. The handoff to Sutherland, and he's stacked up at the 14. Jim Waller, the nose guard, plugging the gap for UCLA. And Waller doing an exceptional job. Stacy Argo also in on the tackle. UCLA playing a lot of people. Again, there's 66. There's Jim Waller. Remember now, he's playing a new position vacated no last year by play. Terry Toomey, who was Courtney. all everything in 1987 for UCLA. Waller's got some big shoes to fill. The coaches like him. They say he's strong, but he needs some experience. Bielman and Kelly Ryan are wide to the right side. In motion goes Bittner. Graham under heavy attack goes down. The UCLA defense records a sack and leading the charge, Jim Waller. Well, there's the experience that he needs to get, and he's, he did a good job coming in there, but some help on the outside, too, by Marcus Patton, which forced Graham back inside right into the hands of Jim Waller. It's the third time that Graham has been sacked. There's Patton, 49. He wanted to go outside. When he comes back inside to get away from Patton, there's number 66, Jim Waller. Field goal. David Van Steenkist will try a field goal from the... 29-yard line, a 39-yard field goal out of the hole of Paul Oates. And Oates, look out, down he goes. UCLA not at all fooled, but a penalty marker was dropped. Oates is the backup quarterback. 
Got a flag on that, as you mentioned, and Long Beach State coming off the field, so they may think that now they're stopping and looking around, maybe they may go back on the field. Offside against UCLA. Five yards, almost a first down, maybe. No, five yards closer for the field goal. Look at this snap. It's a little bit high. Oaks gets the ball down in good fashion, but he feels from the outside Henley come flying in. He just senses that. He figures, I better pull it away because it's going to definitely get blocked. In the meantime, Stacy Argo, who is continuing his blocking assignment, comes in and puts the nails on him. Making the snap was the linebacker, Tom Keynes. Snap high. Offside. Defense. Fourth down over. So it'll be fourth and ten, and uh, I would guess David Van Steenkist will get another shot at a field goal. But this time, it'll be a 33-yard field goal. And you can bet that Paul Oates had just had a little conversation with Tom Kane. He said, get it down a little lower there, my man. Long Beach has had difficulty scoring. Place down. The kick is up. The kick is good. So the beach finally gets on the scoreboard. On the 33-yard field goal from David Van Steenkist. UCLA 42 and the 49ers of Long Beach 3. It may not seem like much, but it means an awful lot for Long Beach to get that 33 yard field goal. The difficulty the 49ers had have had so far in scoring this young season. Yeah, absolutely. That will give them a lift and it was created by that interception by Mark Gutierrez, which is a good sign defensively. He played the ball very well. At least the 49ers come away with something. They don't wind up turning the ball back over to UCLA without getting it without getting zero in this drive. Sean Wills and Brendan McCracken are deep at around the 19 yard line. They've moved up. David Vance, they expect maybe an onside kick. The 49ers. Now they're dropping back. Apparently no onside kick. Sean Wills is running the McCracken. 10-25. Still to be played here in the third period. David Van Steenkist kicks it straight away. And Wills will make the return from the six. Sean Wills. Sean Wills straight up the middle to the 30. Woo -hoo. He was maybe a step and a half away from breaking that one. Tackle was made by P.O. Goudene of Long Beach. <laughs> Easy for you to say, P.O. Goudene, but it was as if he doesn't make that Goodenay tackle, Sean Wills tackle. goes 95 for a touchdown. One player that Long Beach has, he hasn't played yet. He says he has a rib well, injury. Vasa, 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 <laughs> He's all yours. He is all <laughs> yours, Mike. Well, he's out with a rib injury. Kevin Smith and Sean Wills are the running backs for Ron Carriger. And Ron it's Will. Wills picking up a couple. Tackle was made by Dan Duffy. Mauricio Gutierrez and lost in all of the scoring Daniel that the Bruins have the had 42 points so far. The fact that UCLA has now scored 196 straight games. And each time they continue to add to that, it's another new NCAA record. The Bruins haven't been blank since 1971. They were in Ann Arbor, Michigan, lost to the Wolverines 38 to nothing. Here is the pitch to Sean Wells. Slips one tackle at the 40 and then is spilled hard at the 44. Tackle made by Keith well, Jenkins. By Keith Jenkins. R.J. Kors, number seven, the strong safety for Long Beach State, had a chance, had a shot at knocking him down for a very small gain. He missed the tackle, allowed him to pick up the first down. Tom Lasolette leaves for UCLA. Brandon McCracken is the wide receiver to the right side. Ron Carriger, the quarterback. Troy Aikman played only in the first half. Wills. And he picks up a couple of more. Chuck Reap in the bottom of the pile. Big number 99 for Long Beach. One thing that Sean Wills does so well is when he hits into that, that stack, that defensive guy, he will just do a 360 and try to keep his momentum going. Eric Ball, Ball smiles. Look what he has done in 1988, and that's just in two and a half games. He hasn't played in the second half, and look what he did a year ago. And 18 less carries so far this year, too. Outstanding, Absolutely. outstanding numbers. Audible. 
Carriger rolling to his right. And to carry the ball. Last character. Look at Carriger go. First down for UCLA. Down to the 41 of Long Beach. Tackle made by Tom Keynes. So it was to make the tackle for the 49ers. Carriger getting a chance to be the number two man tonight. He's been in that number three slot behind Aikman and Bonds, but tonight he gets a second call and he's ready. Wayne, Wayne Gretzky of the UCLA football team. He is a look-alike, isn't he? Yes, for the he great is. One. Dead ball foul. Personal foul. Against the defense. Automatic first down. It's got to be at least three personal fouls against Long Beach in this game. Yeah, they're unnecessary. It gets out of hand. The guys get frustrated. And they take cheap shots. And there's Reisbeck saying, come on, you guys, for crying out loud. Keep your composure. Don't lose it. He's upset. Not that he's getting beaten by such a large margin, but that the guys are losing their composure. The coach never wants to see that happen. So the penalty now moves the ball down to the 26th of Long Beach with a first down for UCLA and quarterback Ron Carriger. This will probably be delay of the game. We may have had Duffy from the 49ers Somebody jump offside. Yeah, moving too. Well, it's going to be against the Bruins. Dead ball foul against the offense. Legal procedure. First down. So that'll put the ball back to the 31. And I wonder if this is what we're going to see a lot of in the second half. A lot of penalties. We may see some with new signal callers and new people at the different positions, and there'll be some audibleizing because they want to get the quarterbacks used to doing that for the regular season. Berkeley is one of the wide receivers for UCLA. The pitch comes to Wills. Handoff goes to Berkeley on the reverse. And Berkeley still on his feet. Berkeley, got, he has a first down for UCLA as he goes to the 14. 18 yards on that flanker reverse. Lawrence Berkeley, a junior from Oxnard. Lawrence Berkeley, not a big guy, only 178 pounds, five foot nine. A little reverse, a little pitch back to the tailback. Wills who hands off to Berkeley. This guy Berkeley may be the most talented of all the receivers that UCLA has. What he needs is more consistency because he's definitely a great athlete. As you look at him here, running the reverse, you can see the one, two, three, four guys from from Long Beach State before he comes down. First down for UCLA at the 14. Handoff goes to Wills. He's to the 11. Some of the other quarterbacks on the UCLA roster, like Bobby San Jose and Jimmy Bonds, thinking, hey, maybe this is a night we get a chance to see some action. Sean Wills is the ball carrier. I'm sure they're down there on the side. Sean Wills, eight carries for 54 yards. But you're right, those other quarterbacks are on the sidelines. They're antsy. They're probably moving around, wanting to get their shot. Five quarterbacks were used by UCLA in the opening win over San Diego State. That was 59 to 6. Even Andy Miller got in. He's the number five guy on the quarterback chart. Ron Carriger. It's Ron Carriger running close to that goal line, out of bounds around the one or the two. Mauricio Gutierrez running him out of bounds. Carriger wanting to go to his outside receiver on a deep out pattern in the end zone. Unfortunately, there's. He was covered, so he had to tuck it away. Two carries, 18 yards. Heads up play by Carriger. First down, goal to go. The Bruins with the first and goal at the Long Beach 2. UCLA 42, Cal State Long Beach 3. Mike Walden and Jack Snow from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Thompson in motion. Pitch goes to Sean Wills. Touchdown, Wills. UCLA from two yards out. So the Bruins have scored again. Watch 52 the, left, third watch, quarter. Watch the key block by 15 who just ran by your, your screen right there. He gets a key block that allows Wills to turn up inside and go in for the touchdown. A heck of a block by Danny Thompson allowing Sean Wills, who read it very well, saw that his man was taken down. He cut it back up inside, two-yard touchdown. Dominic Sandifer will try to kick the extra point out of the hold of Kurt Maggio. So apparently Velasco is finished as well tonight. Sandifer kicks the extra point. So the Bruins now go up 49 to 3 over Long Beach. Just under seven minutes left in the third quarter. Crowd of around 40,000 on hand here tonight at the Rose Bowl. Less than half of what 
they had here in the Big Bowl last Saturday, 84,000 plus for Nebraska. West Denton will kick off for the Bruins. Mark Say and Mark Stan Say Davis and Stan will be Davis deep for Long Beach. 49-3 UCLA. Good kickoff by Denton. Say fields it at the three. Mark Say. Mark Say to the 15. Say to the 25. Spins away. Roll down around the 37. Good return by Mark Say. Well, that's what Reisbeck wants to see. He wants to see those players give forth that individual effort exactly as Mark Say did on that last play when he could have gone down about 15 yards behind where the ball is now spotted. The ball's being spotted on that 40 uh, or up on the 37 yard line. He could have been dropped about the 28, but a good individual effort picked up 15, 16 more. Anthony Burnett made the tackle for UCLA. First and 10 at the 43 for the 49ers. Graham, Graham going Brown incomplete to Bittner. Jim Bittner, 5'11 junior from Camarillo. That tells the tale of Jeff Graham tonight. But certainly a much better performance than Graham had against Oregon a week ago. He was 3 out of 13, only 14 yards. And yet Graham has a chance to be the number one all-time passer at Long Beach, surpassing Todd Dillon and Doug Gaynor. Graham under heavy pressure. Here comes John Pryor to wrestle him to the ground. And what a story John Pryor is. Young man was born in Iran. His father is a Presbyterian minister. He was born 12 miles from the Russian border at Tabriz, Iran. Lived over there for some 12 years. He and his family got out just in time, and here he is doing a good job on defense for UCLA. John Pryor. John Pryor, his third sack of the season, fights off a block by the offensive tackle, gets around him, wraps up. Jeff Graham and takes him down. This guy is really a competitor, John Pryor. I've had, to had, I've had the opportunity to talk with him, and he really loves to compete. He has a twin sister at UCLA. Graham is sacked Jeff again. Back to and this time, it looked like Pfeiffer. Back to back. Yep, that's right. Roman Pfeiffer. 25-yard line. Well, Roman Pfeiffer saying, hey, if uh, a Roman defensive Pfeiffer lineman can do it, well, then by golly, I'm going to get my shot, and I'm going to do it. Pfeiffer will come from the right hand side of your screen, the top part. Come in on Graham. Graham's looking downfield. He feels the pressure right now. He feels it, but unfortunately, too late. Excellent job by Roman Pfeiffer working against the big tackle, David McKinnon. Willie Lujan back to pass. Willie Lujan kicking. back to punt. And fair catch is a signal for there by well, Daryl Henley. 32 yards on the punt by Lujan. I noticed that Henley is signaling for the fair catch a lot tonight. I alluded to it at halftime that if there's one place that I think that maybe UCLA, not that they're taking it easy, but that maybe they don't want him a, a, to take the chance of getting some shots as he's returning these punts. Anything that's not close, hey, just hold on to it, fair catch it, and we'll start from there. Jimmy Bonds comes in now. He is the third UCLA quarterback. To see action tonight. Troy Aikman went the first half, then Carriger was in for most of this quarter, and now it's Bonds, a 19-year-old redshirt freshman from Hart High in Valencia, yeah, California. The the first and ten for UCLA at the 44 of the Bruins. The pitch goes to Sean Wills. Wills. Wills, after he is hit, has the ability to slide and twist away and pick up an extra yard or so. He does. He's always thinking ahead. He's thinking before he get, actually takes the shot, he's thinking of what he's going to do after that hit comes. And that's why he is successful, so successful of breaking the initial tackle and picking up additional yards. Wills has had a touchdown run of two yards in this quarter. Wills has scored four touchdowns this season. And he leads the Bruins. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> yes. For a true freshman. 49 to 3. It's Wills again. Oh, he likes to lower that head, huh? He had a pop at the Keith Jenkins here, and he says, I'm going to take it, man, give you a shot. And he did. And yet, the Bruins have yet to unveil in 1988 Brian Brown, who's an outstanding back. Brown is exceptional with a hamstring, but now watch him as he turns the corner. He gets outside in fine fashion, outruns a couple of the defensive men. For Long Beach, you know, watch him drop his shoulder and helmet. There's Jenkins. Wham! He says, I'm not going to be the aggressor, and the flag goes down. I'm not going to let you be the aggressor and take me on. I'm going to give you a blow. And he did. Nice pop by the youngster. 
And yet when Brian Brown does return and see some action this season for UCLA, he will move to number two back of ball and Wills will be demoted to number three. We think, we think. That will be a tough decision to follow that up, to, to go uh, add a little bit to that, Mike. How can you take Wills, who has done such a tremendous job, and demote him to number three? But that's what Terry Donahue has maintained all along. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Brian Brown, an excellent pass receiver coming out of the backfield, hampered by that hamstring. Maybe he'll be ready by October the 1st and the Huskies. On the pass across the middle is no good, and a penalty marker is dropped. Right in the area of Brendan McCracken. We've been a little offensive pass interference on the part of McCracken. I don't know, but uh, the, all of the Long Beach State defenders were pointing directly at Brendan, former quarterback, now moved to wide receiver. We're about to find out. Jim Fogeltance. Interference against the defense. We'll get another shot. Let's see exactly what happens now. Number six, Jim Bond's going to drop back to pass. Let's see if we can find a receiver coming in from the right. There he is. The ball's in the oh, air. Yeah. Oh, there's no question about it. No question about it. He goes down. Looks like Nick Pantuso popped him. Good call by the officials. We have four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. UCLA 49, Cal State Long Beach 3. I'll tell you what, for the crack is the recently converted quarterback, he got a quick baptism in what it's like to be at the opposite end of an in pattern. Jimmy Bonds at quarterback, handing off the show. Wills. Wills, cross the 45 to the 46. UCLA seems content to stay on the ground now and eat up that clock. I think so. They want to uh, give the ball to Wills and, and some of the other backs and have that line block, get some substitutions into the, that offensive line. Let's work on some techniques and traps and whatnot. Ball on the 47 on the defensive yard line, side, second down. The 66 is Jim Waller, Carnell Lake, who's trying to get into the act. <laughs> Looks like uh, Anwat Twebe. Manny Anwat Twebe. Jim Bonds. Pass comes out here from Bonds to Lawrence Berkeley. And Berkeley is put down right around midfield. Just a short hitch pass to Lawrence Berkeley, about five yards down the field, and he'll just stop. Bonds will fire that ball out there to him. Makes the catch and then hopes he can break it uh, for a big one. Mark Ziegenhagen on the tackle for Long Beach. I want to see him throw the ball to Randy Austin, 95, that converted linebacker who is now backup tight end. He's a tough kid. I want to see him get the ball to run with it. Four, we're down two. Here is the pitch. Goes to Wills. Sean Wills. Sean Wills out of bounds around the 40 of Long Beach. Mark Tourville running him out. Bruins just caving in the right side of the Long Beach State defensive line on that last play. All those guys. They're blocking for the Bruins, big 77, Keith Jacobson with an excellent block. They're just caving down as you look at Wills, 12 carries, 74 yards and a touchdown. First and 10, UCLA. UCLA with the first down at the 39 of Long Beach. McCracken, one of the wide receivers to the right side. Pitch goes to Wills again. Well, it'll be thrown for a loss back at the 41. It's Dan Duffy, a 255-pound junior from Pacoima, making the tackle for a two-yard loss. Dan Duffy, all state at the junior college level last year out of L.A. Valley. Again, here's one of the young guys. We'll get a chance to look at him. First year at Long Beach State. Makes a very, very nice play against Sean Wills. Comes in. Will's trying to cut back. Duffy gets a hand on him. Now he's got that left leg, and he's not going to let that leg go. He says, you're mine, and you're going to stay right here. Richardson and McCracken are wide right for UCLA. Danny Thomas, or Danny Thompson <laughs> going in motion. Bonds pulling back to throw and fires on the run and completes it to Randy Austin, the tight end. It's a great catch by Randy Austin. That ball was low and away, and he dove down inside and scooped it up. And you see, you see exactly what Bonds did. He pointed to himself saying, hey, my fault, my fault. Austin doesn't care. Heck, he just wanted to make a catch. Austin started out back in mid-August when well, drills began as an inside linebacker. He was switched a week later to a tight end. That's his second catch of the year, so he's a pretty happy guy, too. I think, uh, depending on that injury to Arbuckle, you're going to see more and more of Randy Austin as the season progresses. 
was a blitz. And Bonds throws and takes the pass. Completed to Lawrence Berkeley. 20 yard line. 16 yards on the completion. Berkeley. Bonds to Berkeley. Berkeley running man to man against number six, Stan Davis. You can see the blitz coming. Here it Davis comes from the upper right hand part of your screen. Mark Torville coming in on the, on the blitz. Bonds reads it very nicely. A quick out pattern to Lawrence Berkeley. Got a good cushion against Stan Davis. He makes a catch, and Davis runs him out of bounds. There's Jimmy Bonds, 5'11 and 3 quarters. 208, freshman out of Valencia, California. Fritz Jordan is the receiver. Wide to the right side. In the slot is Austin. The give is to Danny Thompson. Thompson. And Thompson is stopped around the 18. Tackle made by Nick Pantuso. Sophomore from Long Beach. Kip Kielgard is now in there too at a tackle spot. John Zelinskas is also in there. So they're running a lot of uh, the backup linemen in there to give them some experience, give them some playing time. Scott Spaulding is one of the guards for UCLA. Berkeley and McCracken wide right. Bonds looking in that direction as he rolls right. He may run for the ball and Didi does. Trying to scramble to pick up the first down, but he's going to be about a yard shy. The tackle made by Nick Pantuso. Quickly in on the tackle. Pantuso, the big linebacker, inside linebacker for Long Beach. He used to be my catcher on my baseball team. Tall, lanky guy. He's playing linebacker, and that suits him well because he was a nasty kid when he played Little League baseball. You have a pretty good record when you were the coach or a manager? We weren't bad. We were 29-1 in two years. That's a good record. But Pantuso was my catcher and San Jose was my pitcher. Bobby San Jose? <laughs> yes, Bobby San Jose, who plays quarterback for the Bruins. Third and one in the closing seconds of the third quarter. Pitch goes to Thompson. Trying to struggle to get that first down. He's going to be stopped shot. First down. Bruins will still need about a yard to get the first down. The clock is stopped with three ticks left in That's the third good. quarter. Number 59 for UCLA is John Zelinskis. In there at center. This big 77, Keith Jacobson, 6'6", 260. Well, there he is right there, 6'6", 260. Look at the guns on that guy. Whoa. And speaking of gun, that ends the third quarter. UCLA, 49, Cal State, Long Beach, 3. College Football 88 is brought to you by Great Western's family of companies. Over $30 billion in assets, 100 years strong. We'll always be there. By Carl's Jr. Try the Western bacon cheeseburger only at Carl's Jr. The choice is yours. And by Labatt's Blue, Canada's number one selling beer. It's Blue Heaven. Well, the Bruins have the ball down around the 10-yard line of Long Beach. Quarterback is Jimmy Bonds, the red shirt freshman, McCracken going in motion. It's Mari Toy blasting through the middle, and Toy goes down to the one. Gain of nine by Mori Toy from uh, Mountain Home, Idaho. He's a red shirt freshman. Only two carries coming into a nice ball game. A nice block. He runs right up in behind Jeff Bailey, who's in for Frank Cornish at center. Bailey does a nice job. And there's Maury Toy. Two rushes for six yards coming into the nice game. He can smell that end zone. He wants that ball again. His brother David is on the Husky squad up in Seattle. So they'll have a little bit of a reunion in two weeks. Second and goal for UCLA. Estwick in motion. Toy. Did he make it? Did he get in? Yes. Headlinesman holding up his hands. Touchdown for Maury Toy of UCLA. That's Cleo Robinson with his hands up in the air, the head linesman. So Toy getting the congratulations. And it's now 55-3 UCLA. Nothing fancy, straight ahead dive. Again, a great block by Jeff Bailey, the center, and the, and the guards, Ray and Scott Spaulding. Toy gets in it, goes up over the top. Touchdown, UCLA. Okay, let's see who's in to kick the extra point. It's Dominic, Dominic Sandifer. Mazio to hold. Out of the hole with Bert Maggio. And the kick is good by Sandifer. So the young Bruins are even too deep in place kicking with Sandifer backing up Alfredo Velasco. 56 the Bruins over Long Beach.
Major League Baseball's week. What happened? Who was great and who wasn't? The plays, the errors. It all comes to life on the Pennant Chase. See the Pennant Chase here on Prime Ticket, Fridays and Mondays, all summer long. What a great season of college football it's been. And more is on the way as Prime Ticket's College Football 88 delivers the most comprehensive coverage in regional cable sports found anywhere. UCLA, USC, San Diego State, Long Beach State, and Hawaii are just some of the many schools you'll continue to see. And it's all brought to you in part by Labatt's It's Blue Heaven and by your local Volkswagen dealer. So for the very best in college football this season, stay right here on Prime Ticket. All the action in the fast lane comes alive each week on This Week on Pit Road. The people who make their living on the edge of danger and who thrive on speed set the backdrop for this show. So be with Prime Ticket each week for This Week on Pit Road. Tuesday, San Diego State and Cal State Long Beach serve it up in a women's collegiate volleyball matchup. For the best in collegiate sports, tune in to Prime Ticket Tuesday, live at 7.30. Official attendance is in 42,464. 42,464. Stan Davis and Mark Say need to receive for the 49ers. Here's the kickoff by Maggio. There's Bittner again. Yep. He's having a tough time, isn't he? Yeah, well, he, he wants the ball. That's right. You're exactly right. He's not shying away from it, Mike. That ball's anywhere around. He's like a center fielder in baseball. That's mine. Stacy Argo made the tackle. We're in the first minute of play in the fourth quarter. Mike Walden and Jack Snow with you. Our thanks to others in the booth helping us out. Dave Walden, State ball first Dennis channel, Munition, Statistician, yards. our producer in the truck, Jerry Romano. 56-3 UCLA. Jeff Graham has gone all the way at quarterback, and he's still in there. Here is Bittner, Bittner. trying to get a couple of yards, and that's about all. On the tackle, Rossine Keaton. Pitner's coming out, too. He looked like he may have gotten dinged just a little bit. See those eyes closed? He's hurting somewhere. He put that head down, and he, ran. he may have gotten Gain dinged on the kickoff seven, return, seven, but he's a, tough, he's a tough cookie. Kelly Ryan back in, replacing Mark Say for Long Beach. As Larry Reisbig continues to rotate his wideout receivers. Backs for Graham. Sets up the screen and Sutherland does make the catch and then he's chased down by Andre Farr. Farr making the tackle for UCLA. Andre Farr making the tackle for the Bruins. Oh, Oregon State pulled it out. Up in Corvallis tonight, 17 16 over the California Bears. California Bears supposed to be a much improved football team this year too. That may be a little bit of a surprise. Oregon State is much improved as well. They've got a kid at left-hander at quarterback Eric Wilhelm, a senior, and he's having a big year for Oregon State. Graham ready to throw. Here comes Argo, and down goes Graham. Stacy Argo from Princeton, California, a red-shirt freshman inside linebacker. Seven UCLA sacks of the Long Beach quarterback. Part of the reason is that UCLA's uh, linebackers are so quick and so fast. Stacy Argo, only a redshirt freshman. Well, this guy weighs 233 pounds. And look at the mobility on him when he comes after you. Graham is almost dead from the get-go. He can't go anywhere. There's Argo, 41, 13 tackles, one for a loss coming into this ball game. He's had several Henley, tackles tonight and a sack or two. Daryl Henley is deep. Willie. Luhan ready to punt for Long Beach. And Henley backs up and signals for the fair catch. Oh, he's got to be under wraps. Absolutely. The crowd starting to boo because Henley is such an explosive type punt returner. And he's returned two against San Diego State and Nebraska for scores. But Donahue is not stupid. He's not going to risk injury to this guy. To be, that guy's a commodity. He's a bar of gold. They're not going to lose him on a punt return. Eight fair catches tonight by Daryl Henley. UCLA 56, Long Beach 3. 12 minutes left. Crowd of 42,464. Bobby San Jose is the new UCLA quarterback. 
flipping it back over to Wills. Not Wills. And Leon Patterson is pushing him back with some assistance okay. from Jay Carballo. There's another little wrinkle that UCLA has added tonight that you may not normally see. It's a little option play by the quarterback. San Jose with a reverse spin coming down the line of scrimmage and then just at the last moment dishes it off. Bobby San Jose, two of two for 32 yards. And I think you were both against, uh, were they not against uh, San Diego State? So Bobby San Jose becomes the, well, let's see, Aikman started off, then Carriger, then Bonds, and Bobby San Jose thus becomes the fourth quarterback for UCLA. It is Wills, look out. Wills trying to slide to the outside. He's still going. And Wills is in Long Beach territory. A 23-yard run by Sean Wills. Leon out of bounds by Leon Patterson again. This guy Wills, he's amazing. Watch him now. He'll take the ball. He gets a good lead block in there by Maury Toy. Now watch him bounce back to the outside. Runs right by for Leon Patterson. But Leon turns around and takes an angle. Gets a good block from Lawrence Berkeley outside on the defensive back. Before he's brought down. Exceptional running by a freshman. A true freshman. There he is. Ball is at the 48 of Long Beach. Wills is up close to the century mark in rushing. Bobby San Jose running for his life. And dumps it off complete to Randy Austin. And the tight end carries the ball to the 45. Austin happened to be the right man in the right place at the right time. Sort of a safety valve for Bobby San Jose. He was in the neighborhood. He may have missed a block, but San Jose says, thank you very much. Here's Wills now on the isolator to watch him. A good block, but not good enough. San Jose does a good job of ducking away. Gets inside to watch him flick that. That's a heads-up play by Bobby San Jose, knowing exactly where big 95 Randy Austin is. He tucks that ball away, and he runs like a fullback. San Jose was like a pitcher fielding a bunt crossing That's right. the first base. I want to see Pantuso tackle San Jose and say hello to each other. They both went to grade school together. Here is Sean Wills. Sean Wills. The 40 inside the 40. And Patterson comes up with the ball for Long Beach. They're going to rule that Wills was down. Mark Wilder also was in there for an offensive uh, line Chancellor spot. Charles Young over there alongside Terry with a rare smile on the sidelines. I think he's talking about contract extension. UCLA has 300 yards rushing and 300 yards passing tonight. Well, you know, they're so even. They're going to take a measurement yeah, here for the first Barber, down, but, like the but they are such an evenly balanced football team, UCLA offensively football. speaking. It is it's amazing. I forget which the first or second minute, their statistics offensively were almost cable identical. Like, the almost even out. We first still have almost UCLA. 10 minutes left in this game. And Larry Ricebig can just sit or stand along the sidelines and suffer. 9.52 left. 31 first downs for UCLA. 600 yards in offense. 56 points. Paul Richardson also in there as a wide receiver for the game. The last play was seven yards. Another freshman. Ball is at the 38. Berkeley going in motion. Kevin Smith. And Kevin Smith gets the call. Smith is a load at 240 pounds and 6'4". Another freshman. Yeah, yeah redshirt Patterson. freshman from Skyline High School in Oakland. Well, he's a big one, too. Can you imagine he and uh, Riley also in ball in the backfield at the same time, a 240-pound fullback blocking for a 216-pound tailback? Wow. Eight of fours, second and six. See, on my college team, both those backs would have been offensive guards, Mike. Fritz Jordan is in the slot to the left. Paul Richardson wide to the left. San Jose on the option. He's going to run it. Bobby San, San Jose is stopped at the 32 by Tom Keynes. Keynes, the leading Richard tackler Hansley for Long Beach, Tom averaging Keynes 11 per. He had 16 tackles against Cal State Fullerton last year. 12 of those unassisted. But 14 against Michigan, too, last year. He's a competitor. We got a guy hurt for Long Beach State. It looks like 74. Rick Hensley may be a little dinged in his arm. Doesn't want to go off the field. He wants to stay in and play, but uh, he may be bummed up a little bit. We got another one down, too. There's another 49er who just went down. Nick Pantuso. Pantuso is the injured player for the 49ers. We have 8.37 left. UCLA 56, Long Beach 3. Nick Pantuso, Nick Pantuso leaving the field for Long Beach. 
UCLA 56 to 3 over the 49ers. Eight and a half minutes left. There's the horse, 6'4", 210 pounder, not real heavy. He can carry about, he's closer to 6'5 than 6'4, but he can carry about 240 pounds. Very, very hard worker, not a gifted athlete in terms of foot speed, but he'll come after you and hit you and knock you down in a second and not help you up. Bobby San Jose wants to throw it. Look out, San Jose is sacked back Bobby at the San 45. Jose. David Riley making the sack for Long Beach. By Daniel Duffy and David Riley. San Jose looking to go downfield to his wide receiver. Unfortunately, he pulls it down a short drop. He can't get rid of the ball. Now he's in a little panic situation. By the time he decides to try and run with it, David Riley is in there from the outside, his left outside linebacker spot. Makes a sack, another tackle. His first sack of the season for David Riley. This will be the first punt of the night for UCLA. And Kurt Maggio will do the punting. Harold Barkate has not been called upon tonight. Mazio puts it straight up to shoot. Fair catch is signal four. Kurt Mazio's catch. And it is down the round the two. Put a fly down, down. they may bring it back. Kurt Maggio is out of Glenarm, Maryland. The legal procedure indicated against UCLA. Now the penalty will be against UCLA. Even though they're going to bring it back, a very nice pooch punt, though, by Maggio. Good hang time. Allowed that kicking team to get down and surround the ball. You see him taking some congratulations from his team, a little smile. He knows he did a good job, and he's not going to be doing this too often, so he wants to make the most of it. He's from Maryland, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like he belongs from Southern California with that uh, little hairstyle. Doesn't he, back. though? Yes, he does. Very affable young man. Legal procedure on the offense, five yard panel, four, down again. <laughs> He's getting a little tired. I was, think everybody is. It was a little hard coming out. Uh, fourth down again. Fourth and 21 50 now 50. as the ball has moved back to the 49 of Long Beach. Maggio will try it again. You call it the pooch punch? The last time, pooch punt. Uh -huh. You try to drop it inside that 10 yard line. He let it go, he let it out this time. Ball will be fielded at the 13. Oh, a fumble. That's a live ball. Looks like the Bruins have it in the uh, end zone. And if they do indeed, it'll be a touchdown. Don't have any idea who recovered that because there just is a mass of blue jerseys down there. The officials don't either. There's 149 at the bottom of that pile. Does he? They're going to safety? Is that what he said? You're going to call him a safety? Then that means that Long Beach had to recover it in the end zone. Bryce Big trying to keep the troops intact here in the final seven minutes of this game. Nobody knows what's going on so far. Touchback. Ball will be placed on the 20 yard line. You understand that? Yeah, what they're saying is that the receiver never had control of the football. To I guess to allow it to be a fumble, then it just ran away from him, and then Long Beach fell on it. So it was I, I, I don't. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it. Well, now look. Yes. As soon as he touches it, that's a fair ball. Okay. Now he no fair catch. one, two. He's hit. Yep. And that is uh, definitely he loses yeah. the football. Stacey Alexander loses it. That's right. It's loose. Long Beach State ball, first and ten on their own twenty-yard line. Well, the way I would read the rule book. Well, that's a gift. After last week in the Nebraska call, this is you know nothing will phase me anymore, Mike. Crowd booing the call. 56 to 3, but it's all academic now. Anthony Ford. Ball carrier is Anthony Ford. Junior running back from Compton. Tackle is made by James Malone. Another redshirt freshman for UCLA. This is a young UCLA team. Yeah, it really is. It really is. A lot of people thought that after graduation uh, last year, the the overall team speed would have been drastically reduced with the loss of Flipper Anderson and, and Paco Craig, but uh, not to be so far. Arizona State coming back against Colorado State, 14 to 10. The Devils in the third quarter. Crowd still booing about that call. It's Anthony Ford trying to get some running room wide to the right side. Well, Stacy Alexander. 
was hit and fumbled the ball and it went into the end zone. And if it's recovered by UCLA, that would be a touchdown in my book. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. What they're saying that uh, Terry's having a good time. So is Bow Wow. Yeah, he's having a good look time. At, look, at he's Cornish, look at Cornish 68. He's doing some yelling too. This is a fun time when you're on a 56 to 3 lead. When you're on the big side, you can have a good time. The only guy's not smiling is number 11, Brett Johnson. That's because he's not going to play. He's a red shirt. That's right. He and won't play. You will hear from him next year. Highly touted quarterback candidate from Orange County. It's Anthony Ford again around the right side. 45 is Wagner in there along with Stacey Argo. 56 to 3. I think both teams are anxious to get this one over with. I think so. I think so. Long Beach has got a long bus ride home about, about an hour back down the road and uh, put some of their wounded people in some whirlpools and get ready for their Big West Open in a couple of weeks. We would remind you that both teams have buys next week. Long Beach will play UOP October the 1st at Veterans Stadium. Well, noon kickoff time, and UCLA will be up in Seattle October the 1st against the Washington Huskies. We'll have it for you at 10.30, the night of October the 1st, right here on the Prime Ticket Network. Mike Farr is back, not Hindley. And the ball is down at the 38 after the 40-yard punt. We still have five minutes left, and UCLA just five minutes away from a perfect 3-0 record for 1988. College Football 88 is brought to you by Volkswagen. See the Volkswagen Fox today at your neighborhood Volkswagen dealer. By Labatt's Blue, Canada's number one selling beer. It's Blue Heaven. And by Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Michelin. Most yards in a game, 671 against the Washington Huskies. Way back in 1973, and tonight the Bruins have 601. Danny Thompson. Thompson takes the pitch from San Jose, and Thompson moves to the 43. Pick up a four, tackle made by Pepper Jenkins. Pepper Jenkins making the tackle for the 49ers. This is UCLA's 70th year of collegiate football, and the Bruins are just one win shy of 400 victories. So they'll zero in on number 400 two weeks from today against the Huskies, University of Washington in Seattle. Second and six, the ball at the 43. Thompson Danny jumps Thompson. a little bit. He comes the other way, and look at him go. Thompson to the 30, 20, pull down by. Stan Davis, 42-yard run by Danny Thompson, a senior from Huntington Beach. He was a very heavily recruited tailback coming out of high school. Cal wanted him in the worst way. A hard toss by San Jose. Thompson hits into that line. He says, the heck with you guys. I'm going the other way. If there's nothing here, I'm going to get me what I can while I'm in. San Jose, in the meantime, is trying to get down the field and throw a block. C-17, and look at Thompson run. Boy, almost all the way, almost breaks it for a touchdown. I'll say C. Thompson run because he has never scored a touchdown rushing in his UCLA career. I would guess he might get the call again. And San Jose is going to call a timeout. 3.53 to go. UCLA 56 and Long Beach 3. We'll be back in a moment. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Cry is not for me, cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining, because I'm free. Nothing handles weather like an all-weather Michelin. Nothing's worrying me. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. When whippoorwills call.
Mercifully, this game is about to end. 56 to 3. Bobby San Jose with a first down at the Long Beach 15. Thompson is the tailback and Toy is the fullback. It's Thompson. Thompson is finally put down at the eight. Is he tough? I think he may mark his forward progress at about the 11, but he wouldn't go down. No, he's tough. And he may be thinking exactly what you mentioned earlier. I have yet to score in my career, and I'm going to get me one before I get off this field tonight. Well, he did get a touchdown passing, and Run, it was in running, the Aloha but I mean, ball, I mean but running. Right, right, rushing. UCLA has had 11 different rushers, ball carriers, in this game. People fail to remember, some of them anyway, that Troy Aikman threw three touchdown passes in the first half. Barr had a big uh, first half with seven catches. Toy is stacked up at about the four. Maury Toy had a touchdown early. Ball had 11 carries for 108 yards and two touchdowns. Far caught seven for 114. And Aikman stats on the night, 17 for 25, three touchdowns. So the Bruins threatening to get some more here in the final three minutes. McCracken wide to the right side. Kevin Smith is the fullback. Danny Thompson is the tailback. San Jose pitches back to Thompson, and he is stacked Danny up. R.J. Coors had a hold of one leg and pulled him down. Well, I'll tell you what, R.J. Coors played that exactly as you draw it up. His, his uh, responsibility was the tailback man, number 43. Philip Morrison was the guy who was supposed to come in and force the pitch. Both guys did an excellent job on that play. There's Coors. The big hump in his shoulder pads, you may wonder, what is that? No, he's not carrying a little lunch with him. He has a neck brace, but he doesn't wear it on the outside of his pads. He wears it underneath on top of his shoulder pads. Did you wear a neck brace when you played for the Rams in Notre Dame? No, I did. See, we, wide receivers, we were so far out that we didn't worry about getting hit, hurt in the neck. We stepped out of bounds after we would catch the ball. <laughs> it's a toy to the three. Van Buren making the tackle. No, it's Kevin Smith. Right. Kevin Smith made the carry. I still want to see them fake that ball in there to Kevin Smith and pitch it out to Danny Thompson. And let's see him get his touchdown. It'll be victory number 101 for Terry. And I was kidding him the other day. I said, in 13 years, you've been able to get 100. You might be going for victory number 200 and about 13 more. He didn't say no. No, he didn't. And I doubt it. I think you're right. Well, he's 44, so Terry would be 57. Still be a young head coach. Absolutely. Still be a very young head coach. Terry will look young at age 75. I would like to be here when he's 57, watching him win his 200th. Long Beach has called a timeout. 127 left. The only thing to be decided, as it has been since halftime, what will the final score be? That's the score right now. I've used the term already. I will repeat it again. This UCLA squad is a big play team. Look at the points they've racked up. 59 against San Diego State, 41 against Nebraska, the most ever scored against a Tom Osborne coach team, and 56 here tonight against Long Beach. So the Bruins will go into the game up in Seattle averaging 52 a game or more if they can punch in another one. Here comes Thompson on the pitch. Thompson is pulled down at the three. Nice job by Dan Duffy. He would not allow him to get inside for that touchdown. He's smiling a little bit. A good play by the young first-year man for Long Beach State. I like the play of Duffy. You betcha. He's had a pretty good night, consistent night. Had two years of J.C. Ball at Los Angeles Valley College, but he's been stuffing it up. That's right. He's played very, very well. He should be proud of his performance when the night's over. 56 seconds. Did somebody call another timeout? I do believe there's Bobby San Jose talking with Terry Donahue and just to Terry's left is Rick Neuheisel who was the quarterback coach at UCLA. Reminder again that the Bruins have next Saturday off and then two weeks from today the Pac-10 conference opener against the Washington Huskies up in Seattle. The lay of the game against uh, UCLA and I think this may be the best 
overall Four league down, in goal to goal history. The yard line. It's going to be fairly well balanced. You got the Trojans, UCLA looking strong, SC is looking strong, Oregon's coming out of the shoot looking pretty good. Uh, Cal has a very good football team. Stanford is just a little step away, and Washington and Dolly's going to have another tough club. Ball is back at the eight. Thompson is still the tailback. Kevin Smith is the fullback. Jordan is in motion. It's Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith. stacked up at the five. Well, one reason why the Pac-10 is still so strong, nine out of the ten teams had their number one quarterback returning this year. People don't realize, Mike, what a key that is. You got that guy coming well, back who is a better than average quarterback and a decent passer to a good passer. That's going to make you healthy in an awful lot of ways. And you're right. You look up and down the Pac-10, Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, uh, you know, Stanford with, with Johnson, UCLA here with Aikman, Rodney Pete at SC. Yes, absolutely so. A lot of quarterback talent in the Pac-10. West Denton, number 28. Number seven is Andy Miller. Some reserves along the UCLA sideline. So Long Beach will take over for a couple of more plays before this one is over. Anthony Ford we goes into the middle. Another flag like we need one right now with 34 ball seconds back. left. The ball carrier. Brian Lockwood in his game is about three hours old at this juncture. After the game up in Seattle, the next game, home game for UCLA here at the Rose Bowl, will be October the 8th, Oregon State. Dave Craig Thorpe and group, right? Yeah, that's right. And you know that Wilhelm will be throwing the ball about 40 times. At least. Craig mm -hmm. Thorpe likes that wide open offense. Then the Bruins go back on the road. They play at Cal on the 15th and at Arizona on the 22nd. Return on the 29th against the Cougars of Washington State. It's Anthony Ford again. Anthony Ford. Well, I don't know if there is a Ford in Long Beach's future, but Ford's getting the call a lot here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he is, and uh, I think Ford and the entire Beach team are running a little bit low on fuel right now. So UCLA just six seconds away from a 3-0 record, and they will enhance their number two rankings in the polls, although number one Miami had a real barn burner today with Michigan that pulled it out. 31-30, but I would guess Miami would still be number one. I think I agree with you 100%. Long Beach is going to stay, I mean, Long Beach. UCLA will stay right there in that number two slot, and we'll see what happens down the road. Dennis Munition, our statistician, has UCLA for 662 yards tonight. That's an awful lot of yardage. Stop and think about it. That's an awful lot of yardage. It wears your guy out. Look at Dunny. He's worn out. I mean, he's had this game in the bag since the first quarter, and he is worn out. He's now thinking about the Huskies, Don Owens, what's going to happen up there. Don James. Uh, Don Owens. Don James, yes. Let's so say Don Owens. Shows you how old I am. <laughs> Jim, Jim Owens. Owens used to be a great coach yes, up there. He Jim Owens. Walk on water at one time up in Seattle, and this one is over, thank goodness. I'm sure the coaches and the players feel the same way. Terry Donahue, victory number 101, UCLA 3-0, and the 49ers of Long Beach 0-3. We'll be back with some final comments after this.